You sound so enthusiastic. I am enthusiastic, motherfucker. Motherfucker, he is. Yeah, and Dr. Seuss, I am, here he is, we are him, and all of us are here to get... Great, I just fucking butchered a, a Beatles song. That, that's great. That, that's... that's, that's Boo! 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 You bring disgrace to the bitch, Liz? Eh. Oh, okay. Please. <laughs> oh, my eyeballs hurt. I think I fell, I think an eyelash fell in. My eyes hurt. I think I got an eyelash in my eye. Silly. I hate it when that happens. How is that silly? You're just silly. I just realized we're on the air. Yeah, we've been on, you, you dingus. And I can't find the fucking video. If I am a dingus, then you are a fortissimo. Dude, come up yeah, with some I original material. You pull... I'm a what? You are a fortissimo. God Why damn, those are some hairy armpits. <laughs> well, no. Because huh? I just, I know you, you take everything I'm as a dead. challenge, so no. I'm Anyone care if I'm dead? Because I'm dead. Alright, hold uh, on. Uh, I, no one else is <clears throat> I fucking can't find the link to the fucking video. I need to link it to the people who are over. There it is. Shit. I just did. Heimlich, 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 Heimlich. Oh. Heimlich. <laughs> we are already extremely dysfunctional, but we have like nobody here. We have zero fucking viewers. What is this? Give it a minute. Well, we just started. I expect at least ten by now, but give us a moment, yes! Mister Impatient Pants. I'll look at some people eventually. Did I say 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. Central? You said, you 2, said PM 2 p.m. Central. Okay, good. I'm just double checking. And it is 2 p.m. Central. <laughs> nice. Oh, there we go. Now some people are showing up. Thank you. Three Told you. Yeah, we just said, wait a motherfucking minute, you impatient little. Yes, dear? Shutting up. Mm -hmm. Can I repeat that sure? I'm just, I'm sure Yes, enough. what? 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 I can't say dear. Oh my god! Uh, whatever you say, sugar muffin. Whatever you and Tanya are up to, keep that to yourself. <laughs> You come up with as soon as the fucking stream starts, I gotta fucking pee. I'll be right. Back. I'll be I right back. No, cat, listen to this. I swear, Joey, you come up with some of the, the some of the cheesiest and corniest like little nicknames for your lover that even gay people are like, oh, honey, you're trying too hard. <laughs> Dick. Gonna go to the bathroom and vomit now. Be right back. Oh, what? You can't picture me gay? Okay, I see how it is. No, that's... <laughs> Zach? All I've got to say to you is that you're a dick, and we lost Will. Oh, I see. We transitioned from, like, big uh, skinny dick to something else. I don't know. There he is. There he is. Uh, yes, yes, sorry, now I'm going to the right. bathroom. Fuck! <laughs> Let me go to the fucking bathroom. Okay, okay. Jesus. Uh, so. Sorry, sorry that was lagging my end. Okay, so hey, the people that are here, we got a uh, good amount of people here. Uh, I'm actually gonna set this as my Skype thingy. <laughs> And also put this up on Facebook and Twitter and Face Twit Tamblegram, as it's called now. 
apparently. Based with Campbell Graham. Campbell yeah. Graham. You know, face twit Tamblegram. Is is that what the Completionist calls it? I don't know. <laughs> Anybody really with a baseball bat? Pete. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make any fucking sense. You don't make any fucking sense! Yeah, well, I should make some sense. Maybe. Yeah, I make about as much sense as a sardine in a jock strap. You want to see a sardine in a jock strap? Okay, whatever kind of stuff you're into. Whatever, some people that like to fuck it's fish. Like whatever. You want to fuck a fish? No. Excuse me, let me just hear that to right. See it. I... No, 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 no. You said... Fuck you said... List. Then as I was saying, you want to fuck a fish. Then immediately after, you say, that's on my bucket list. So you, Joey Turner, you are Mr. Train Level 476, as of this moment, <laughs> wish to fuck a fish. <laughs> I was saying, seeing a sardine in a jockey strap is on my bucket list. How is that any better? Because I don't fuck the fish. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I also want to say the walrus. So, hi, peoples watching. I hope you're enjoying this little introduction here. Yeah, <laughs> hi, guys. Um, so, yes, yeah, some little updates on what's going on. Uh, concerning <laughs> money, we've raised about um, $130 so far, which is really good. Um, let's see. In terms of games, we got some good stuff planned for you today. Unfortunately, no Walking Dead, because... Uh, Walking Dead is being a bitch on my Steam, so we're cutting that out. But I'm making up for it. I have some special surprises in store. So for those that stick around, like, till the end here, I'll put my live stream link down, and we're going to play some weird-ass games. I've gotten um, Left 4 Dead, of course, and uh, some other surprise games. But, of course, we're going to be finishing the night off with the rematch that at least 30 people wanted to see in Mario Party. Since... You know, everybody was pissed off that <laughs> that I won again. Oh, so shut the fuck up. I mean, we should make I'm, I'm sorry. It's just I'm the Mario Party King. I'm sorry. It's not my fault that I'm so much better than all of you. Anyway, we also have some other stuff uh, over here in this show. Hey, I got a little message for you. I got a little message right here. Poop goes the way down. Really? There's like, some, like, seventh grader shit right there, man. <laughs> Come on. Look at the guy who don't care. You have literally no fucks well, to give. Well, it's time I shall challenge you to a rematch. I don't even... Fuck it, I don't know. Uh, huh? Hi. See, I don't know. Hey, thank you. I love this tat, by the way. If y'all, if any of you are going to BronyCon and you see a dork walking around with a snazzy hat like this, which, no, you can't have. <laughs> He's probably a terrorist. Well, I'm going to be walking Look, around man. with my umbrella. Look, just because I have this doesn't mean I'm a freaking terrorist. Terrorist! Hey, again! Ah! I'm the only one with a gun, anyway. What in the fuck did I come back to? What are you people doing? I leave for freaking two minutes, and y'all are screaming about terrorists and top hats. Terrorists and top hats. I like the sound of that. That's a good sitcom right there. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Uh, I've already showed this off enough. How would you like to be five-fingered discounted less person. <laughs> that just completely you failed. You even think that through when you started talking. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, you, know, you give me a lot of flack about not thinking things through and then here you come, Mr. Oh. Five-Fingered Cantimatorium. What are you doing with my top hat? <laughs> That's my top hat. Mine, 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 mine's better. No, it is. 
Pussy Mama, Pussy Mama, Pussy Mama, Pussy Mama, Pussy Mama, Pussy Mama, Oh, oh! You think you're so cool with that, with with, with that tricksy ma magician hat, and flippy thingy that 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 goes up and down. You think you're so cool? Well, I got something. You know, watch, watch. Mine can, mine can do that too. <laughs> kind of does. You're gonna break it. if you break that. This hat, is I'm not replacing it for you. Yes, you are. You bought it for me in the first place. This is happening. It's happening. It's happening in real life, and I'm a part of it. Uh. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Apparently, uh, some people think you're Jim Carrey, Joey. This is Teddy Blee. No, my thing's lagging. I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> So, what we do have for you peoples today, we're going to be doing some fanfic readings. And that, um... You remember those, don't you? I'm sure you do. Of course you do. I totally didn't do a series where we just read the weirdest shit imaginable. <laughs> I got the theme song ready. <laughs> oh god, you really? You still want to do the theme song, son of a bitch? Yes, that is a freaking good theme song, man. Come it's on. Cheesy as hell. That's why I wanted it. I heard it's well, you're Japanese complaining about guess. something cheesy. You of all people are complaining about something cheesy. Yeah. I I happen to like cheese. What are you gonna get cheese? The fact it was me who did it just. Ugh. You've done the theme song for Mythic Knights and Dragon Knights and Flamingo 619 Reads. Come on. It's not that bad. We're gonna witch y'all. What are you trying to go to Brooklyn? I wanna be gold. Oh, 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 Joey, you were the one to talk. What? I didn't say it. He said it. Who said what? Oh, wait, who? Really? You're gonna pull that shit? You think your hand? You, you think your hand is another separate entity? Oh yes, yes, my hand is a separate entity because I can make it go up and down. Well, I can see you can do it. Too. Keep walking. Keep, Keep walking. walking. Keep walking. Faster. Slower. Slower. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we got two fanfics to do, and this uh, little something that Joey just wrote that totally wasn't ripped off from anything, but. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Uh, to be fair, when have I ever? When have we ever done anything that's not ripped off? You are smirking about it, and you know it. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe it's just a little bit. <laughs> anyway, uh, mm -hmm. let's wait for uh, Ellie to get back, and we'll get started with the first one. Now, actually, I'm going to ask you guys. We have two fanfics. We have a Thomas one and a Pony one. So. Pick whichever one you want to be. Don't make them choose, man. Of course, that, this is about fan interactivity. Cause we got the okay, we got the donation link there too, so people can like throw money at us. I mean, actually help out my family. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna hear that. I'm, I'm sorry. Wow, no, no. subtle. I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean to make it come off like that. But in all seriousness, um, the family stuff has improved. We've um. The medical bill got dropped on our laps, and we're just like, oh, what the hell? We got all this money, and insurance willing, isn't willing to cover most of it. So I figured, okay, time to bring out the donation stream again. Mostly because you guys wanted me to come back and do it, because we have all these people here that are going to make it fun. And there's from the last donation stream, we had the best Mario Party ever. We had some good... You're one to talk, Mario Party ass. It's and I just realized, are you wearing a turtle shirt? Actually, yes, I am, if you guys are curious. Um, yeah, I am, actually. My yeah, stepmom just got this for me. I hope, so. I'm hoping to get two shirts with Michelangelo on them. Yeah, I like the shirt, personally. Oh, favorite turtles, Raphael, for those wondering. Um, so, so far, we've raised about $100, hoping to raise a little bit more, maybe get up to 200 If we get to 150 then I got something special for you. So, uh... So throw the stuff at the prizes that could possibly happen if you interact with people. I, you know what? The, this would really work better if I had godlike powers and could do special stuff. And purple hair Ellie. 
Oh yeah. I'm back. Yeah, you cosplay as yourself. Welcome back. Hello. Ellie, yeah. are you cosplaying as yourself? Huh? She are you is. cosplaying as yourself? Yeah. Admit it. Okay. Ten out of ten. She she looks good. She looks good with the with the wig. She looks good. With totally. Ah, she ah, she look very feisty, but uh, the she shirt she she shirt is too white. Walking away. She's gonna kill you, and I will be right back. <laughs> To white. Did you seriously just say that to me? <laughs> you don't learn, do you? Oh, don't hurt the boy, he's fragile. <laughs> I'm How just a child. <sighs> Gonna be a baby by the time I'm done with you. <laughs> Uh, you hit me and I'll sue. Which, like, sue for I'll sue counter sue for psychological damages. I'll counter sue for leg ripping and shoving up my ass because I think that's what you're going to do. You're going to take my Actually, leg off. Actually, it wasn't, but that's a fantastic idea. You give her a lot of ideas, dude. Now you're screwed. <laughs> I think I should go hang down here for the rest of this dream. Cool. Cool. Uh, there, now I can see. Admit it, I am help. adorable. Let me know when it is safe to come back out. Oh, Joey, get up. No! Don't make me get, don't make me get the fishing rod again, boy! No, not the fishing rod! I got him up, 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 up. What do you want? <gasps> it's a Julie. Oh, hey, we got a Sparky. Hi. A, a, little, a, little, Miss a little Miss Sparky Starboy. Starboy? <laughs> oh, yeah, he wasn't here when you guys started calling me that. <laughs> Why are y'all calling me Starboy? Because I got stars on my butt. Because appar because apparently um she got a gold star for figuring out that Ellie in fact does have one. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I put up the um picture with my butt in the air as my avatar briefly. She points at it and goes butt, so I gave her a gold star. Wow. I got a good needle star. And then Joey's just like, why did you put a butt on your? Why did you put a gold star on your butt? And it's like, I don't, I didn't put it on my butt, but I have stars on my butt. And they will call me Spark, um, Sparky butt or Sparky star butt or something like that. <laughs> All right. So now that we're we're here, no more interruptions, all that good stuff. Let's start off with the first fan. What? <laughs> <laughs> what else? <laughs> Sorry, I I I I, I, don't, I always wanted to do that. <laughs> what actual interruption? We have, to do, we have to do the theme song first. No fucking theme song, God damn! Let's do the theme song. It's been over a year, practically. Theme song? Play it. Just play it. And that's the wrong song. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, jeez. Hold on. I know what I'll do. Oh, I know what I'll do. Hey, you sick of there with nothing to do. Why don't you come over here and maybe try something new? Really? I'm trying to listen to the theme song and there's fucking dogs in the background. Maybe deep emotion, whatever the feeling doesn't matter. Either solo or with friends, we're going on a trip to faraway places. Or maybe not, just take a tip from me. He does have some standards, but I'm off bench, just a stretch. So keep at it, and I'm looking at bitch. So kick up your feet, find something comfy to sit in, and enjoy the show. Now let us begin. I love that theme. <laughs> okay, alright, okay. Will, uh, for those that are wondering when we came up with that theme song, we, I just gave the 
I just gave the the instrumental to Will and just like here, have fun with it, see what you can do with it, and he just he ran with it and he gave us the freaking theme. Sorry, sorry about that. I had a had a phone call from one of my workmates. So. Okay, so Will, why do you like the Flame Amigo Six One Nine theme song? Moving forward. Oh come <laughs> on, it's not that bad. You've done weirder stuff. <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> okay, so we're going to go with, uh, let's see. I already asked you guys which one you wanted to go with, and I don't think I got an answer. So we'll just go with Thor, for mostly everybody's sake, because it's because we're, we're bronies and Pegasisters now. Let's go with the pony story. And this Wait, is what kind of ponies are for little girls? Today. Yeah, yeah, what, no what the hell? No one touches my what, little pony. Yeah, what the hell are you going on what, doing, uh, like, uh, pony stories for? God, what are you, a faggot or something? <laughs> well, <laughs> language, there are bronies in this call. What? People actually watch language? that shit? Children amongst us. Oh, okay, you, you, mister, with, with, um, the thing. You're your pony, Sony. You can't even act like you're not a part of this because you are. That, hey, 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 I would just like to rebuttal. She is not a pony. She is, in fact, a horse. There is a difference. Oh, okay, sure, horse. There's a big fucking difference from that. <laughs> Wait, where did totally. Ellie go? Ellie poofed. Oh. Oh, damn. Now she, now, now she unpoofed. Why for you go poof? We're gonna the be reading. Thing was lagging. It's okay. We are going to be reading a story, a pony story, called, and and this is the exact title, the unfortunate events in Ponyville that led me to. Wait. That's it. What? I think, I think I've heard of this one before. I don't know. It's it's silly. To say the least, it is. It's silly. It's it's going to be interesting, so... What are you about to do to us? What I do best... That makes be anything. I... Uh, mine was, mine was about it, a little At least it's than... not the one I was thinking of. Which is a good thing. Okay. Mine was about a horse and an owl making sexy time. So I believe... I'm not here... There's the people I'm that are in this. Here. Fuck you. The people that are in this include Twilight and Applejack and Snips and Snails. Oh dear God. So we're just gonna it go downhill from here. It can't get any worse than this. I'm telling you. Okay, so let's do it this. It can't get any worse, he says. So <laughs> let's divide this up. Who's going to be who? Um, this is always the fun part. We usually do this off screen, but... Um, who wants to be Twilight? I guess the girl who has the purple hair should do it. Okay, who wants to be Applejack? Sounds legit. I think Josie I won't do it! I won't do it! I can do it! Why does it not surprise me? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's let's just let's just go with this. Okay, the unfortunate events in Ponyville that led me to by Ven X Seven. <laughs> the unfortunate events in Ponyville that led me to not finish this. Uh, statement. Can I get a, can I get a link to this? I don't have a link. Oh sure. Uh, let me. At each one also. Okay, let me just post it in the chat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why? Now, I believe this is rated M for a lot of poetry and parody stuff, but I believe there's also a little bit of, a bit of on the racist side, but I didn't, I don't think it's a big deal, as long as we don't use the word whatever, so. You don't, uh, I didn't know you were so racist against the word whatever. You're so racist, Zach. And so I know, I am so fucking racist and rude, oh my god. You're afraid to walk on the whatever side of life? <laughs> Man, those whatever people, they're just... No. 
No, oh, I'm see. offended. I, Dude, I happen whatever. to be one of the whatever people, so fuck you all. <laughs> hey, I'm right. offending the whatever peoples. I was right. about to say, are you racist against ratchets? Everybody's racist against ratchets. How about ratchets? plants? Anyway. Because, you know, they're like... <laughs> Alright, let's get this show on the road. <clears throat> Author's note. For anyone interested in buying this New York Times bestseller, please leave an envelope with $400 each dollar label Tiffany under your nearest black friend. Please, oh please, the drug cartel is after me and I need to pay them off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, my closest what? black friend is in New York. I can't put four hundred dollars under the, under her seat. <laughs> <laughs> if you put four hundred dollars under me, I'm taking that shit. <laughs> of course you would. My black, <laughs> I need my to black friend my broke my wrist in acting class. All right. <clears throat> One time, in a horrid and racist barren wasteland, there lived ponies. This putrid place was aptly named Ponyville. In this town, our heroes set out to the next city on their quest to earn their fifth gym... Wait, what? 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 <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, did we jump into a Pokemon fic? Oh, Where boy. Where do you find this shit, Zach? I, don't I ask him that every single day, and I never get a definite answer! Twilight? Um, hold on. A spike! Call that Twilight Sparkle? Get your fat black ass out of your bed and get back to work! <laughs> she said happily. <laughs> <laughs> she was happy at the thought Spike had no rights in their world, for he was of different skin color, and every pony knows that colored people really aren't people. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> what? I am so sorry to so many people here. What? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> oh I just wanted to god. read the sexy horsey picture! Oh my god. Oh my... <laughs> uh... <sighs> okay. No. Oh my- oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, <laughs> What? Oh, Ellie, you are not gonna- uh, Continue, continue! Okay. <laughs> Spike attempted to get out of his bed, but he was drowning in the vast 20-mile lake that was his fat. He attempted to swim to the other side of his bed. However, his fat ate him up just like he ate out Rarity's corpse. Wow. <laughs> he took a piece of pizza from his enormously sized dragon bre- <laughs> God, that's fucking disgusting. He hey. attempted to eat said pizza, though infested with the remnants of genital sweat. <laughs> Oh, God, who would fucking eat that? But he couldn't fit it into his pie hole to do the amount of food pouring out of his mouth due to the fact that there was no more room in his stomach. He shoved it in up his anal cavity and died of pleasure. Ellie, I am so sorry. I am not saying that. <laughs> Let's just say something else. Fuck you, can... silly fucker. Don't make me get the Hasbro Playtime Whip. Copyright. <laughs> Twilight looked down only to see a hole in the ground. The whole spike would make love to every night before he went back to work at the apple farm. Not sweat apple acres. Spike maintained his own prosperous apple farm to feed himself because Twilight did not give a single shit to Spike. Twilight began to shit in Spike's mouth for leaving such a <laughs> hole. Except this one time she did give a shit. <laughs> but a shit. <laughs> Oh my god. She looked bent over and opened the hatch on the what is now a trap door of the hole. She found out that it led straight to another episode. However, Twilight does not possess the ability to break walls of the fourth kind, so she is now Pinkie Pie and nothing previously said ever happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> what oh the my fuck? Wow. What in what in the actual fuck are we reading? Something that I found. All right, back to the story. Every pony was in line for the Apple family Zap Apple Cider, which was really just normal cider because Granny Smith passed away and the secret to making it died with her. And Apple Bloom was taken as wolf food being mistaken as a rabbit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the school died because she was a chicken. I don't know. Next in line was Cheerilee, who was quite thirsty. Being a school teacher, all of the tight, tight cooch in her classroom drained her of her bodily fluids rather quickly. <laughs> Well, damn, Shirley, I always knew that 
Never mind. She was attempting to pull her money out of her pockets, because ponies have pockets. After going through an assortment of death threats for kids and sex toys, she just beat some filly up for her lunch month. What? Wow. Philly abuse. I don't... What? This this is weird, okay? But this isn't like anything like F I have to pee or I like to be a tree. This is just oh weird. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. That was awesome. Those, I'm sorry, I, if I like, if I want to be a tree or something like that, ugh. We can always read my fic afterwards. We will, don't worry. Your, your fic is a, an oasis of sanity. With money and hoof, Cheerilee bought some of the sweet, sweet, sweat, piss-colored Apple drank. Applejack was busy and breeding with her cousin Brayburn, so she asked <sighs> Big Mac to retrieve the shit of the sentry. Big Mac recognized the G3 whore and ejaculated in her cup. Cheerilee, being quite familiar with the taste of Big Mac's stallion sperm, you know they were married, went into a state of pure rage and sex. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then there was a sneeze. <laughs> Shirley Sheer seduced the monarch ruler known as Celestia and took on the role of king. However, Celestia was feeling rather ill and she knew why. Shirley had poisoned her vaginal fluids. Celestia died of rug burn the day after, not poison, and the sun died with her. Luna, being the next in line, was so happy that she died. The two <laughs> lesbian sisper, sispers, well, sisters were thrown into Spike's grave and no funeral was held. Prince Blue Balls, being the last remaining relative of Celestia's and Luna's one-night stand, was lit on fire and shoved into the fat corpse of Spike through his pizza-filled ass. Shirley was now the ruler of Equestria. Her first order of business, free rape for every pony. What about Cadence? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Cadence is even involved in this. God uh, damn. Uh, after a long, awkward orgy with no penises, Cheerilee was bored of this only 5% male planet. The gene pool was terrible, and every pony would just begin to die off because all the ponies, whom were all male, got rid of all their semen through clopping, so there was no way to reproduce. Cheerilee decided to bomb a quest... Wait, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Cheerilee decided to bomb Equestria. However, the coordinates were wrong because hooves cannot type well. What was an attempt at the coordinates of Equestria came out to be... Or Manhattan, as you may know it. sex thing. I don't know how to say that, so what the fuck ever. Um... The nuke destroyed all of Hiroshima, ending the Pony Wars the two between the Japanese and all of Manhattan. Oh, come on! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the only survivor was none other than Daring Do, the Indian Jones ripoff no, of wait, a wait, pony. Wait, hold up, you pronounced it wrong. It's During Do. During Do. Oh, my bad. She took cover in a nearby freezer. She survived the blast, but the freezer could not be opened from the inside, so Daring froze to death. Nice fucking wow. going, dumbass. <laughs> Sounds like the ending to Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls. She shortly died after, how about we just say that? <laughs> then every pony died. 200 <laughs> years after the drastic yet hilarious Sonic Rain nuke, Rainbow Dash emerged from Bank Vault 101, a.k.a. the asshole the decapitated purple dragon known as Spike. Spike! Spike! Okay. <laughs> Only to be met by a world fully overrun by... <clears throat> period. By by Peer what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> why are these a robot period? After several musicals regarding who to call upon when you're in distress, Rainbow Dash noticed Applejack emerge from the seas on Rarity's fashionable dead body. Simply fabulous. Why, well, hey there, you sugar spider! Applejack said as she threw Rarity over her shoulder, much like a scarf, because even in death, Rarity is fashionable. I sure hope you don't mind. But I'm trashing these hair ponies on you for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay. Okay. Applejack handed Rainbow Dash a dictionary, and inside was Apple Bloom Sweetie Bell. Apple Bloom Sweetie Bell. Is that supposed. Whatever. Okay. What? So off Rainbow, Apple Bloom, and Sweetie Belle went. They ventured through the Everfree Forest, and since it is non-existent in the Everfree Forest, time went back 200 years to before Fallout Equestria happened. They came to a nearby bush and peeked through it as if it were a window. Seeing several pedophiles looking through the same window, there was one particular thing that interested them. They came across a town barber and his brain-damaged friend who was also retarded. Snips and snit. Oh. 
Oh. oh. Why are you be this and the snippy and the snaily? Well, oh, they are the two stupidest fucks in this whole damn show. Snips and, and snails, who do you want to be? Fuck nope. it, I'll go. Okay. The, uh, <laughs> Gee, it sure is boring around here. Stated <laughs> snails. My, my gold, true peace is what all true warriors strive for. Are we really doing a fucking Legend of Zelda? God damn it. Ugh. Replied Snips as he was angrily stabbing himself in the left dorsal fin. What? Dor Dor dorsal fin? Oh, Snips and Snails are... Fish? The hippocampi? I guess. I, I just wonder what Discord's up to. Snails lashed out. They finished reenacting their role playing and went straight to crossing sticks. Their penises began to light a nearby tree on fire, which just happened to have Pinkie Pie in it as she was giggling at the ghosties. The pink flavored <laughs> smoke <laughs> The pink flavored smoke rose up into the causing all of Cloudsdale to begin accepting Earth ponies into their elusive academy, regardless of the fact that they all died because they could not stand on clouds. And when they tried to fly, they all plummeted down into the lake of Spike's fat where they would be fucked by the one known as Stephen Fagnets, or Magnets. What? Abba Bloom started clopping and jumped out of the bush to kill snails and snips, for Abba Bloom was a hard-working Christian man with, a Christ, with, Christ, with Christ fag morals and believed homosexuality to be a crime punishable by being made into a poorly made Hasbro copyright toy. Onward, Rainbow Dash and Sweetie Belle did go into a world where the fun did flow. They kept their heads high and they kept their dicks low. The murderous journey flew by, yet this poem sucks and I would prefer if Sweetie Belle did die, and so she did the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was awesome. Wow. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> What in the actual fuck? Oh my and god. We, <laughs> and now we made a guy not want to live on this planet anymore. Oh, oh wow. That's, oh my god. That's special. Now that was interesting. Wow. That was very special. Yes, Dakota, I do believe this is a troll fic. That's oh why I love these. I love reading fixed like this. And, uh... Oh, and, uh... <clears throat> just, uh, Just for anybody else uh, in the chat right now, just a reminder, here's the link for... Don't... Oh, wait, hold on. It's Her... actually already in the description, so... Oh, yeah. it is? Oh, okay. Never, never mind, because it, kept, it, kept, it gave me an error, so hold on. Manny, 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 manny! Manny! Oh my god. Uh, that was fun. That was a thing. I don't know if fun is the word I would use. Fun! Fun! Shut up! No. We're gonna have plenty of those when we get to Brony Can. Fun! 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 <laughs> okay. Anyway, now, uh, next story, which is. The Thomas one. Oh, dear. Oh. Now... Oh, boy. Did you oh, see God. Thomas one? No, Thomas story. Hey. You see, I was going to be nice and give you all a story, a Thomas story that was good. But I feel like being a little mean and keeping on the what-the-fuck wagon. Uh, you and nice? <laughs> Okay, I, actually, I'll I figure it back. Nice okay. See you, Jewel. I am a nice guy. Come on. Whatever. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Come on. You're being a nice guy. You're just, you can be a nice guy. You just often choose not to be. You serious? Yes, I'm serious. Okay, so I want to ask some people in the chat, 
Does anybody know a person by the name of Trainmaster64? No. No, 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 wait, no, no, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. Why does that name sound so familiar? Why does it sound familiar? Because... Red Ducks! Oh, yeah. We're going to read Red Ducks. Wait, what? What? We're going to read Red Ducks again. <laughs> We pick. got a well range quit. <laughs> Wait, uh, I thought you hated the hell out of that fic. Remember, one time someone brought it up, you just, you were down the street exploded. and exploded. Because I couldn't stand the fact that it existed. And yet you're going to have us read it. Uh, I would if, uh, actually, hang on, because there's other stories too. <clears throat> There's more than just that for a choice. What? What kind of story? What kind We're of story? We're down by half of our cast with Will having rage quit. <laughs> oh, the stories that I could make us read. I'm hungry. Of course you're hungry. I'm hungry. You so don't I'm gonna say. Eat. So I'm going to eat. I came prepared this time. Well, there he is. <clears throat> yes, Will? <laughs> I think I pissed him off. I think I really pissed him off. Hi, Will. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Let's get it over with. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to make us read Red Ducks. We've already read that. So. <laughs> Joey's just dying over there. Uh, I'm dying from happiness. That's not going to be any better because you're going to be wishing we're going to read that with my choice that I picked. Why do I believe that? Because Why are you such... And, Zach, you know how you were just asking if you were a nice guy? Well, I can be a nice guy. Can be. It's not doesn't automatically mean you are one. I can be if I choose to be. Liar! And Emphasis on choose. choose. That, we have difficult, that we have difficulty with. It'd be a lot worse, too. I can't find my body spray. What did I do with my berries? Aw, oh, get rid of the st Motherfucker. Okay, I'm looking for the story. Apparently, he deleted it. Suck, I suck! That's okay. I have a replacement. Of course you do! <laughs> Of course! Why not? Let's see if I can... Is it here? It's got to be here somewhere. He really did fucking delete it. I am, I am shocked. I guess it was that bad. <laughs> was, was he finally had the balls to realize it was bad? Um... Well, that puts a damper in things. I was going to make us read a Thomas and Rosie sex fic, but... I think I know of a choice that's... Do you have a choice, better. Will? What in the world did I walk back in on? Because my Skype, my Skype, my internet derped for a second. What happened? What? The first thing I heard was Thomas and Rosie sex. Well, that's the, apparently apparently the fic that we were going to read, but apparently the author himself deleted it. Well, Maybe. I, say, I say Hail Mary, then. Jeez. In that, in that case, um, Joey, why don't you bring out that gem of yours that we were talking about? And which one? Uh, the one that has to deal with um, the horse and the bird. The horse and the what? And what? 
I would like to proclaim that I am innocent. What are you guys trying to do to me? What are you doing? <laughs> Where the hell is Lay it on me, bro. Lay it on me, bro, mod. I'm looking for it! Now I feel better. Now my wig is not so knotted. Get to that? Aha! Alright, give it to me. Where is it? That's what she said. I'm, a... Shut I'm up. looking, I'm looking. Well, you better actually look more, foo. I found it, I found it. Okay, who wants it? Over here. No! Over here. Come on, just post you, it up. <coughs> post it up, you silly fool. I posted it! I posted it! It's done, and it's done, and da da da. None of us can see it. Where did you put it? In the big group. Da, 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 da. I don't see it. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. What are you about to do to us? Hang on, we gotta go and get the the screen share so we can actually show people what we're reading. Well, what if we want to keep it a surprise then? Oh, you know mm -hmm. what? You got a point there. I, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, Masterpiece Theater would like to present to you Joey's first attempt at a troll fic. Oh dear. A wonderful piece of literature, I might add. <clears throat> the Time When the Grape Pony and the Owl Thingy Made Sexy Time Written by Pinkie Pie After Another Cupcake's Root Beer and Cheese at Fest Slash B That was supposed to be bold for when I put it up on FIM Fiction <laughs> Okay Okay, so This one time Hello. there was this little purple horsey thingy who lived in a tree and her name was Twilight Sparkle because she's a vampire pony and she wanted to make sex with a werewolf from Antarctica. One day she was all pissed off because Fluttershy turned into a tree and crapped acorns into her hay fries. What the hell are hay fries? Are there any different than sweet potato fries? Because I ate those once and I puked all over my grandma's wig. Then she beat my head with a penguin. But back to me ruining children's dreams. One day Sparkly Horse was all like, Spike, get the fook out, I'm going to go fook an animal thingy. And then she threw the little dragon thingy out the window, and it landed on a glass porcupine. Then Twinkles started running around the room screaming, Me so fucking horny! Like a little schoolgirl in a hentai who got stirred up by the tentacle monster. Then she farted and an antelope pooped out, and she ran screaming, I was free from the purple dimension! And then her eyes turned into Oreos as she looked over at the little owl sitting on a perch like a bouse, looking for a burrito to do the tango with. So Twixlepoof did the thing where she makes the things go all floaty, and brought the owl close to her face, which looked like a pug dog staring at the sun. And then she looked at the hooting thing and yelled through a megaphone, <gasps> I gotta rape you, I is! Wait, what the hell's going on? Ooh! <laughs> Sad Owlicious. An entire candy store shooting out of its beak and then flying towards outer space. Twinkerbell then stuffed the whole owl in her mouth, swished it around for a while, and opened her mouth, revealing a feathery cucumber. Por eso que para que me convierte en un piepo de pelmas queried the cucumber, now speaking Spanish for some reason. Spaghetti Twoofle then proceeded to lick the cucumber like one of those big-ass rainbow lollipops you see on TV. Seriously, those things are huge! Are they even that good? But anyways, I digress. Don't worry, Mr. Aloysius Lollipop Thing, I is gonna stick you in my honey pot, said Tarkle Spylight, as she proceeded to stick the cucumber in a literal honey pot that she stole from Winnie the Pooh after beating him in a poker game and feeding him to Pinkie Pie after she got turned into a shark for spring break. Then Spookle Tink opened up her moistened, pearly gates and prepared to shove the cucumbery torpedo through the Chamber of Secrets. But then... 
cucumber eggs exploded and turned into a duck brown from Back to the Future pony. Great Scottish brown bespackle! exclaimed the duck brown pony. If you had put the feathery cucumber into your happy bag, the universe would have exploded into a million cactus juices! Tweedlespee just stood there making a wah face, and then suddenly, a hot air balloon popped out of her butt and carried her off into the sky, and then the balloon and great pony exploded, covering everyone in many balloons and hamburgers. The dark brown pony then proceeded to dance the thriller on the moon, which woke up the gorgonzola cheese ponies, who then turned the earth into a giant mozzarella stick and thrown it at the sun. But did that frighten the mozzarella-dwelling horse thingies? You bet your cucumber but Twistimo did! And that is how the ponies became mozzarella sticks. The end? After Twilight finished reading the story, she just looked at Pinkie Pie in utter confusion. What? Um, Pinkie, what did you just give me? Why would you write something so stupid, and why turn Aloysius into a lollipop? Why a glass porcupine? Why'd you turn into a shark, and why mozzarella sticks? Pinkie just sighed in content. Oh, Twilight! Would you have been up all night? Up there. When you open up all until midnight drinking root beer, cupcakes, and Cheez-Its, you'll understand. And with that, Pinky bounced off out of the library, leaving a very confused Twilight staring there in confusion. The end. Question mark. What the hell was that? Shelly! What the fuck? I'm just sitting here trying to digest all this, and I... I don't comprehend what just happened. I'm confused. I, I, I... That was just me doing my thing. <laughs> so people, someone in the chat is like, the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Give Joy a round of applause. That was a fantastic piece of literature. Okay, in all seriousness, fine, fine. It was a good fic. I like that. You killed Ellie, though. Kind of. <laughs> I have no regrets. You will in a couple of weeks, dude. Huh. Anyway. Oh, I just asked some people, like, just roaming around, like, hey, do you want us to read, like, another story? Like, another Thomas story? And they're like, yes, sure. And then everybody keeps saying fucking Red Docks. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Of course they did! Because you asked, you asked if they wanted, if you, they wanted you to read a troll fic, and they proceeded to troll you, so. <laughs> <gasps> hey, guess what? Chicken butt. I found it. <laughs> I what? found the Thomas story that I was mentioning before. No. Oh, are so screwed. <laughs> but I found I found a way to make it interesting because somebody somebody made a parody version of this, so we can at least tolerate it. How can you make a parody version of an already bad story? Like this. <gasps> Somebody made a review of it and paraphrased the whole story. So instead of us sitting there for like reading a five thousand word story, we're gonna read the abridged version of it. Um, how does that make it any less painful, cr cringeworthy? It doesn't. That's the whole point. Exactly. Oh my God, my God, Go bye bye. Pillow make Batman go bye bye. Pillow make Batman go bye bye. Pillow make Batman go bye bye. Hang on. Uh, whoops. Hang on. Let me put that over there, and let's drop you over here, and let's get rid of you and you, and we're good. Okay. I could totally still see my hair. <laughs> so who's ready for this, children? Who's ready to read? Nobody. Why? Ah. By the way, somebody's asking, Will, do you regret saying that Misty Island Rescue is your favorite movie? I don't give enough of a fuck to answer right now. 
<laughs> anyway, let's begin, because I'm sure that this can't go wrong either. <laughs> Fan Fiction Friday, Thomas the Tank Engine, Intention Relief. Oh, I already hate the title. Let me be clear. This is not just an erotic fanfic starring Thomas the Tank Engine. It's a 3,681-word erotic fanfic starring Thomas the Tank Engine, who I should remind you is a fictional train with a face in the front and no gender characteristics, who happens to be the star of a show aimed almost exclusively for children in preschool. It's also written by a gentleman who calls himself Trainmaster64, a bad sign by itself, who happens to have written 18 other fanfics in the Thomas and the Tank Engine world, many of which are also erotic, but then most of which aren't. One of the erotic ones is over 40,000 words. <coughs> Jesus. People put time and effort into writing Thomas the Tank Engine erotica. That's why we're going to look into it. No! <laughs> so as they say, all aboard. <laughs> now let's see here. Who wants to be the voices for this? Fuck you! Fuck, fuck you! Fuck you! Oh come on! Fuck you! Um, I can't tell you. I'm dead. <laughs> ow! 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 Joy, what did you do? You okay? He smacked I the fell back of his head. And I hit my head. I fell backwards and I hit my head on the wall. Oh! Oh! Oh, dude. Oh, ouch. Cat, Will, if you please. No! Nope. Are you kidding me? Come on. No! I don't do it. Joy, I wasn't asking for you. I was asking for Will and Cat. Fuck you! Please? No! I didn't know you were that anxious for me and her to hook up. Well, what? fine. I'll do it myself, then I'll just read the whole thing by myself. That's how people want to be. <laughs> Yeah, I volunteered. He's a brave soul, this guy. Yeah, but then somebody else has to be Rosie. And there's only one lady I'm, here. I'm oh, not said I was volunteering it. for Thomas. Hang on, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Give me a sec. Who said I was volunteering yeah. for Thomas? Oh, thank God. Tis only a brief reprieve, my friend. <sighs> I don't know. What, get, I'm gonna see if I can find my pony ears while he's gone. Go right ahead. And while he's gone, I'm gonna go get my pinky pie plushie because I think I'm gonna need to hold it when we're through with this. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't leave me all alone with these people! I'll be back! Gosh! Uh, I found him right quick. Hi. Where'd Joey go? Uh, he went to go get something. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Thank I heavenly don't... Jesus for distraction. I don't think we're getting out of this. That's the sad part. <laughs> Why? Why do I like him so much? Hi, Pinky. It's a shame. It's a shame the stream can't really see it since it's still on screen share. Aw. There's no way to. I know. What? I brought this plushy Pinky. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh! Someone asked in the chat. Um, has anybody seen a brony tail yet? I have. I have not. No. Nope. Never I'll, even I'll, heard of it. Oh, oh, for those who don't know, a Brony Tale is the newest uh, Brony documentary starring Ashley Ball, the voice of Applejack and Rainbow Dash. It it pretty much documents her finding out about about the fandom and traveling to uh, the New York uh, Brony Con back in I believe it was winter of 2012. I think I I forget when, but uh, honestly, I think it's I think it's very well done. I think it does its job a little better than the uh, the first uh, documentary. Um, Which and, I never saw either. And uh, actually, I noticed like on Rotten Tomatoes, it got a rare score of 100%. So it's up there nice. with movies. So it's up there with movies like uh, The Godfather and Jaws on the rating scale. Nice. 
That's impressive. I didn't see the ending of The Godfather. Nobody saw The Godfather. It's overrated. Better not say that around my dad. He's obsessed. He's got he's got the Godfather theme song as his ringtone. Oh, you you think he's obsessed? My my fil- my script writing and slash film teacher was obsessed with that. He he she used that to exploit every single thing about film, and I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I love it. I don't care. God I, damn it. I give you permission to shoot. I'm still hungry. And apparently, hey, where can and you get? Hey, where can I get pony ears like that? I got Some, them at BabsCon. Yeah, yeah, I think they, yeah, they, they should be able to. They should to sell things like that in the vendor hall there. So yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. My, my mouth is locked in. Uh, that's okay. <sighs> okay, so sorry for that little interruption. Now let's actually get back to what we were doing. <laughs> what is it we're doing? Oh, yeah, we're... <coughs> Have we decided who's going to be the other person? <coughs> Nobody wants to do that. Stop being and baby. That's and, also who said... and also, who said I was volunteering for Thomas? You're really... Ro- you're- <laughs> okay. So, Will, guess what? You're in this too. Have fun. But no, 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 I object! Well, yeah, I'm sorry. Why don't, you be, why don't you be Thomas? Because I'm the narrator. Oh, I see. I see. I'm not good enough for you, eh? No, if, I ha- if, if Tanya was here, I'd have her in this too, but... Mm. So we gotta make up our mind, people. My mind is made up. You know what? I'll be Thomas and I'll fall in love with myself. Okay, since Will's too much of a pussy, fair enough. Um, do you call saving my sanity being a pussy? Dude, you've read worse fanfics than this. Have you not? Do you, William Alexander Grubb, Mr. Wag person, deny that you have read worse fanfics? Check me. <laughs> you have read boy. far worse than this, dude. You read <laughs> F I have to pee. You read F I have to pee. Can you really get any worse than that? <sighs> Besides, doesn't everybody in the stream want Will to read this? Actually, you know what? Yeah, the, the stream, you decide. Do you want Will to read this? Let's wait and let it look. I can't here. wait to see people's reactions. Hi. Where are we? Hey! Hi, hello. Welcome back. Hello. You might want to get out of here. We're reading a Thomas story. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and we'll quit too. Come on. Oh. No, maybe uh, his internet will derp. His internet has been touchy. That's all I can tell. But yes, people, I'm waiting on your vo- Oh! Yes. No. Yes. No. yes no. Totally. That's three S's. <laughs> First year guy says no. Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, no, we've got no. too many yes and no. Maybe. Oh, yes. Maybe. Will or Zach. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, goodness. yeah. No. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I can't promise that I won't give Rosie a stupid voice. Oh, my <laughs> God. Will is so fucked with... Will. Buddy. Will. I'm sorry to say, Will, but the majority vote is yes. <laughs> like, by a landslide. <laughs> Somebody's extremely unhappy. <laughs> oh. 
I hate you people so much. Love you too, buddy. Anyway. <laughs> so it looks like Joey's going to be Rosie and Will is going to be Thomas. This is I'm just so like... No, actually, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. Let's just read the story. God damn it. Okay. You can make it funny if you want to, if it makes it any better. I'll be back. I'm, I'll be back. I gotta go get myself some food so I can stop bitching about being hungry. Okay, fine. You go I'm that. not even reading this anyway. Save okay. yourself! Thomas held Rosie close to him in the quiet of the empty steamworks. He had suggested that he and Rosie spend the night there to give her the chance to relax. Rosie had refused at first, but relented when she realized that Thomas only wanted to help her to relax and to help her forget her torment for one evening. Thomas! Oh, what the hell? If you're going to be like that... I you said, you said to make it funny if we wish! Okay, fine. I love you so much! You're just so good to me! We don't have to do anything you aren't comfortable with! <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go with these voices. Go ahead. Thomas said quickly... <laughs> We can just talk if you want, or we can kiss if that's what you want. I want you to relax tonight. I want you to put everything aside for tonight and relax. <laughs> but Thomas, <laughs> let's talk first. All right, Rosie, what do you want to talk about? How much I loved you, and how much I want to kiss you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention the trains were in love? So at least the preschool fictional train fucking will be more than casual sex. I'm sure the creators of Thomas the Tank Engine appreciate that. Oh Thomas God. began to kiss Rosie with great care and sensitivity. Rosie blushed as she moved closer to Thomas, reveling in his soft touch upon her. He was so kind and caring, never being too rough or too gentle. He was exactly perfect for her. She loved how he kissed her and held her close to her. He truly loved her, never wanting to let her go, and she never wanted to leave him. You know, I'm often baffled about the subjects people write erotic fanfics about, but I admit... This shit just blows my fucking mind. Imagine Thomas the Tank Engine kissing another train. They're essentially just rectangular blocks with faces. It's one of the least erotic things I can think of. At least when people write shit about things like Rugrats, as awful as that is, they're humans. Even erotic fanfic about Tiny Toons or Angry Beavers, at least stars creatures with a pulse. And even Transformers have arms, legs, and crotches. These are trains. They don't have genitalia. They don't ha even have any goddamn limbs. What the fucking fuck? So I guess this is a bad time to mention that he pinched <laughs> my ass. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. I don't know. I think we're going to keep going with this. we got a long way to go, so... Soon, Thomas began to kiss her more passionately. Flushing, Rosie kissed him even harder. She was feeling herself needing to kiss Thomas, to hold him even closer, and to kiss him with such forceful passion. Very carefully, Rosie ran her tongue across Thomas's lips. Thomas opened his mouth and let Rosie's tongue dart inside. She was blushing profusely, but completely lost in her love for him. For a while, the two were simply kissing each other with deep passion. Rosie emitted a faint moan of longing when Thomas broke off. This was oh amplified God. when Thomas kissed her cheeks and brow very sweet sweetly and delicately. He was making her feel nothing but pure love and adoration of him, which was exactly how he felt about her. Thomas was only interested in making sure his love was content and enjoying this evening. The amount of thought this man has put into Thomas the Tank Engine kissing another train is just absolutely terrifying. He smelled of garlic. Oh. Rosie's eyes fluttered open. Dimly, she noticed that Thomas was moving her backwards towards the lift. She knew what Thomas was about to do, and she decided she wanted something else from him instead. It's Thomas! It's Thomas! This what? is exceedingly weird. Oh Thomas stopped, looking at Rosie with love and concern in his eyes. What is wrong, Rosie? Don't you want me to do this? More than anything, my Thomas. It's just... I want you. I want to do this to first. Let me please you first. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I <love> exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. 
Thomas was as red as James, realizing what his love meant to do. Oh, Rosie! I... I... I wanted to do this for you! Rosie was now inches from him, her eyes hungry and her face full of intent. Thomas licked his lips nervously. Rosie was driving him wild inside. All his arguments against this had melted away as he gazed at his love. Do you want to hit me, Thomas? Rosie breathed. Thomas now trembled as his love looked him deeply in the eyes. Yes! <laughs> Yep, nothing helps cheer up women more than letting them give you a blowjob. It's nice to know the same hold true for trains, too. Wait, blowjob, what? How is that possible? How? Inanimate objects. Um, that's, what, that's what this guy's saying, apparently! That's just like... Ugh. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you want me to be distracted, Thomas? Yes! Thomas whispered. Then move backwards to the leaves, Thomas. Drop your fire. Let me love you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Rosie pushed Thomas backwards towards the lift. Clearly she was intent upon her goals. Thomas blushed as his love kissed him with passion, holding him close and slipping her tongue past his lips again, intertwining them in a passionate dance of love. Okay, how many fucking times are you going to say they kissed? There's only so many times. Oh my god. That's the only thing they can do. They can't do fucking anything else. Oh, we're about to see. Oh my fucking god. I'm so sorry, Jewel. Continue. <laughs> Joey, it's that's you. It's your, it's your oh, yeah. line. Wait, where is it? Drop your, drop your drop fire. Your I just said... Um, oh, yeah. Drop your fire, Thomas. I want you to enjoy this. Thomas obeyed, captured spellbound by Rosie's eyes. He was slightly shaking as the lift began to riot, raise him skyward. As he went up, he can feel himself being exposed to... Ro what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Um, being exposed to Rosie, his internal workings revealed to her as she, he sat upon the lift perpendicular to the ground. He couldn't help but blush, feeling his face burn, though it was nothing like the inner fire that had been developing within, and was now burning bright. Oh my god, I'm just going to assume that the lift here is not specifically a blowjob machine in the twisted Thomas the Tank Engine world of the author's head, and just one of the regular lifts that shows up in the shows and toys to help the trains change tracks and more cargo and shit. Which moves Trainmaster 64 literally sat down and thought to himself, Boy, I'd sure like to imagine the trains of Thomas the Tank Engine having sexual relations, the relations with each other. But how could they access each other's genitalia in a way that is true to the world of this preschool TV show about trains? Why the lifts, of course! There is something infinitely more depraved and wrong here than if the author had just pretended that the trains could blow each other without figuring out a logical explanation for it. It honestly makes me want to cry and drink gin until I pass out in the puddle of my own vomit just to make the nightmare stop. That's how I feel right now. Rosie oh. simply stared at Thomas, oh. revealed to her in all of his glory. Thomas was familiar, yet strange. There were many places on him that she knew she would spend time upon. The most important of these was his steam port, a nozzle-type device pointing down to where the ground would normally be. Wait. What? This she knew was the place where excess steam would be drained to help relieve boiler pressure. Every steam engine had such a place. Hers was an open hole on her under... Uh, does, does, does that, does that mean, does that mean they have, I mean, does that, does that mean that, does, I think we, some people need to lie down now. Does this fucking mean that Thomas has I a dick? I am one of those people. Does this fucking mean that Thomas has a dick? Are you, are you, are you telling the me that? The undercarriage of the fucking train. <laughs> Uh, why? Thomas wouldn't have a penis. That would be absurd. He's a train, but what penis-like protrusion of his could Rosie suck that would give Thomas sexual pleasure? Think Train Master 64. If a train really could be male and really could fuck other trains, what could he do it with? What? Why, a steam nozzle, of course. God, I'm a genius. You know if the creators of Thomas the Tank Engine wanted to include graphic sex in the show for preschoolers, and I can't imagine why they wouldn't, I bet they'd have the exact same idea. 
great minds think alike, after all, especially about imaginary train dicks. Uh, uh, okay, you know what? I'm starting to regret reading this. this is That's what we yeah, were trying to fucking tell you! We're already, we're already knees deep in this. We might as well see how far it goes. I give you five minutes until you rage quit. I'm not going to rage quit. When's the last time I rage quit on anything? Red Dox! <laughs> Besides that. Nah. In that instant, Rosie knew what she was to do. Delicately, she touched Thomas's port with her tongue. Can't believe I'm reading this. This is what I've been reduced to, reading Thomas and Trey get you port. You're a cult of personality, people! Why can't Ellie be back? Ugh. We could have just watched time. I Love Lucy! Oh, God, I can't wait for her to come back and realize what the fuck we're reading. She's probably not going to come back. Why do we run a violence? Stop all your head, dude, please! You know what? No, I'm going to brave through this. Oh, God. Oh, my God! In that instant, Rosie knew what she was to do. Delicately, she touched Thomas's port with her tongue, flicking it once. Thomas groaned, trembling, though he had been trembling from the beginning. Rosie couldn't help but smirk at this. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> You're so beautiful. Oh my! Even while reading this, and those voices seems wrong. Rosie whispered to him. Are you scared, my Thomas? You are shaking like you are jumping in the line and rocking your body on time. Okay, I believe you. I, 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 I can't help it. You, you just so amazing. Can't help. <laughs> Don't be oh! <laughs> Hi, cat. Ah, she rage quit. Well, I don't think she rage quit. I just think she derped. Ah. <laughs> oh, who am I kid? I volunteered for this. <laughs> Oh I'm going to lay on the floor. Cat. <laughs> Help! Please! Hi. So, your internet must be derping, but we're reading... You, you, you don't want to know how far we are into this story. Help! Well, they used to call me the Blowjob Express back in train high school. <coughs> what? <laughs> what was that, Julie? I'm fine. Sure, sure. <clears throat> Never. But I think I know exactly what you mean. Sure. Do you want me to stop this? Rosie yeah, gently stroked Thomas's though. port with her tongue, what making him moan floor? and shake harder. <laughs> Were you laughing and you fell? <laughs> well... Perhaps to fall on a pillow. I love you. Well. I hear blurred lines in the background. It's downstairs. I'm actually literally laying on the floor right now. Well, you're lying. I... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you forgot the keyboard! Don't stop! You know what, fuck it, just, I'll skip the line. I'll just skip the line. What is, Rosie I, I don't want to know. Thomas's port as if it were an ice cream, making Thomas quake. Rosie was very good despite her inexperience. Her tongue swirled around him, surrounding him and making him moan with pleasure. It was clear that Rosie was giving Thomas immense satisfaction and pleasure as she continued to work upon him. Then Rosie stopped for a moment. Thomas was about to ask her why she had stopped, when suddenly he felt something cool and wet drizzling onto his port. He shuddered violently as he realized Rosie was gently drooling onto him, soaking him before she proceeded to lick it all away. Moaning louder than ever, Thomas could not believe how sensitive and powerful Rosie was upon him. <laughs> and it's just the face melting from Indiana Jones. You know, 
why she's drooling on Thomas's non-dick because she is a train and she has no arms or hands. Wow, that 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 that, that picture. Just wow. That's the most appropriate picture ever, actually. Oh my god. Oh Thomas. I don't know you. How do you feel? Because I am so weird right now. Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> oh, the, don't stop, please! No, You're just so good! <laughs> oh my god, Joey! <laughs> I'm. Oh my god! Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> oh, sorry for Joey. Oh. Either, both of you. I feel bad for both of you. I'm not looking Absolutely. at the chat right now, so I don't know what's going on. How <laughs> much longer is this story? Yeah, how much longer is this story? God damn it! Actually, let's see. How long a... Yeah, uh, oh, God. Uh, no! Oh, no. God. <laughs> We have about a long way to go. Oh my god. Can we just, can we just do the critics parts, please? Can I make the pain go by faster? I'm Zach. Do you really think I'm going to make that last any more longer than it needs to be? Yes. Fucker! I think my penis has retracted into my body. <laughs> You're lying, Joey. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, alright, there it is. What do you think of Thomas when he was turned on? Do you think of me doing the thing where I got the slurpy straw and I does the thing you off? Do you imagine me tasting you? Oh do my... you think of me cutting you? Oh, we really imagine it's Percy, but no one knows that. Rosie's voice was thick with seductive tones. She knew what this would do to Thomas and what this was doing for herself as well. Thomas's mind was flooded with impossible images of Rosie underneath him, her lips sealed under around his port and sucking deeply, her eyes big and sparkling with love and lust. Suddenly, Thomas moaned in absolute pleasure. Rosie was making his dream come true. This I have is... a question. What? How the fuck can he see if he's up in a certain way and she's underneath of him? You're trying How to put logic possible? into the story. You're really trying to put logic into this, Julie? I'm sorry, but it's kind of not helping. I appreciate the effort, though. It no sense. This is truly the most romantic erotic story <laughs> about one train giving another train a blowjob I've ever read. I honestly wish we would have read. We should have read. <laughs> Y'all oh, wishing for you would think this is beautiful quick script. Rosie had gently wrapped her lips around Thomas's port, delicately applying pleasure to him as she caressed him with her tongue. She could taste Thomas on her tongue, absolutely loving the way he tasted her. As Thomas shook and writhed, she kept licking him inside of her mouth. Soon she began to taste something different, something very dif different. Mm, diesel. Oh God, what is their jizz like? <laughs> Why am I questioning that? Why are you thinking about this? <laughs> By the way, do you know what Rosie looks like? Have you not been imagining the erotic visage that's currently working on Thomas's little engine? That <laughs> oh my! <laughs> yeah, that's a good. His little engine that could. <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> Is that what? Will, okay. is that what you call it? Okay, I'll admit that's kind of funny. Oh. Oh God. Honestly, if I saw that thing coming from my dick, I'd start screaming and never stop. <laughs> oh, Thomas was seeing stars from the pure pleasure mm -hmm. Rosie was giving him. Hey, Rosie. You, 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 you're good. I'm you. 
Suddenly, Thomas felt something rising through him too fast for him to control. Rosie. <laughs> Apparently, they included a train whistle clip just, just be. Wow. Oh. Rosie stopped, surprised by Thomas's cry. Then she felt Thomas began to spray his fluids into her mouth. <laughs> what fluids? What fluids? <laughs> At once, Rosie backed up, caught off guard. Thomas cried out as he released himself all over Rosie. She was absolutely covered in his juices with some still in her mouth. Thomas was helpless to do anything more than shake feverishly, wailing as he released himself. Dripping with Thomas's juices, Rosie felt very different. This is a completely new feeling. It made Rosie feel a burning desire deep within her. Never would she have imagined that she would be here covering <coughs> herself with fluids and wanting more. She loved this feeling in a deep way. She loved Thomas more deeply than she could possibly describe, and she was sure he loved her just as much. He could never love her more than she loved him. Yeah, nothing makes a girl feel at peace with the world more than a face full of semen. That's exactly how that works. And what fluids are these? It's Thomas's steam port. Is it water, oil, coal, or is it just... Did Ugh. Train Master 64 fail to think of a reasonable liquid for a fictional train to shoot out of his fox penis during fellatio? Fo. Sir, I... <laughs> Fo. Sir, I doubt the ver vermis... What the... F verisimilitude of your romantic preschool TV show train blowjob story, and you were doing so well, too. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, how much more of this? I don't know if I can... T oh my god, there's so much more. This was your idea, motherfucker. You backed yourself into a corner, asshole! <sighs> yeah, we quit at the halfway point. Actually, actually yes. Actually, yes. You know what? You know what, Rob Robin, you brought up a good point. People, if you donate money to him right now, he will stop! You know what? If you, re if you donate, I will stop. How about that? <laughs> Oh, you don't want your money, people! Just do it! Please. I'm gonna throw a penny why at you. Why did I come back? Hey. Not, why did I come back? Cat, I, why don't, I don't know, Ellie. Just save yourself, please! And now we're gonna make someone unlook in the mirror and cry. I'm so sorry, Cat. Please forgive me. You can hurt me all you want at BronyCon. I thought I was going to anyway. This is true. At that point, Rosie knew that she had to deal with the fluids in her mouth. Tentatively, she swallowed them down. Dear God. At once, a very strange thing came over her. She began to feel weak-wheeled. She realized she had swallowed Thomas's juices. Even more intense was the feeling that she liked it. She liked having him in her mouth and wanted to have him again. Wow. Mm. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is heinous. It's Jomas. Rosie said tentatively. I want more, Thomas. I want to touch your skin. I need more. Sorry, baby. Once I pull into the station, it's at least 30 minutes before departure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. I will give him that. Uh, Thomas trembled as he felt Rosie's warm breath upon his port. <laughs> what? Will, you <laughs> pussy, get back here. I think okay, how about, this? how about this, people? If you can donate $10 each for the next few minutes or seconds, we will stop. Oh, okay. Actually, no, I'm curious. Who has donated? I want to go check this for myself real quick. Did people <laughs> actually donate to stop? I want to see this. <laughs> Nobody has yet. 
I guess you guys really want me to continue. <laughs> they enjoy the suffering. You sadist motherfuckers! <laughs> Rosie had applied her lips to Thomas once again, this time beginning to suck harder and deeper than she had before. She caressed him with her tongue again, trying to coax him into giving her more of his juices. Jesus, Rosie, you're a slut. She needed to feel them slide down her throat, needed to taste them and savor them again. As Rosie raked Thomas's port with her teeth, she felt him writhing from her touch. And this picture sums it up perfectly. Oh, good. My one problem with the above blowjob scene is that it was just too short. Let's have another one! You know what? I'm just going to... You know what? How about this? I'll make it easier for you all. I'll skip the dialogue. Is that better? In that um, case... I don't know what to do. All the screens are frozen for me. I'm not even getting anything. Oh. <laughs> I think I broke Joey. <laughs> He was the first to break. I knew it. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. My childhood. Give my childhood. Rosie hummed softly <laughs> as she continued to suck upon Thomas. Thomas wailed as he shook. His modesty was the least of his concerns. Rosie was making him feel so incredible. The image of Rosie was <laughs> not... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Perfect, Ellie. <laughs> really? Was that necessary? Yes, it was necessary. <laughs> no, Thomas, no, no, Thomas, Will, you okay over there? I don't think he is. I think he's just what the fuck. <laughs> Well, Spectre Basky, how many fingers am I holding up? Check your thing, please. What, Will, what? My, in my internet derped out. I asked, pe I asked people in the stream to donate. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Check if people did, actually, please. This <laughs> is part of how anyone did. <laughs> Ten dollars, that's it. Pfft, come on, let's keep going. <laughs> Nobody donated, he did check. Nobody donated, Will. You're the only one that did. I don't care, it counts! <laughs> it counts! Hey, you donated? What happened? What happened? My thing lagged. Will donated, and he's the only one that did. I'm setting an example! And it counts! Just stop! Please! Oh, an example, people! Help I'm me. not even at the halfway point, man. Oh my god, you're not! Tell you what, Will, I won't make you read anymore. Save I'll just. Us. I will just let you sit back and listen. Doesn't make my pain any less, but. Fine by me! And I can't come back to nachos. I'm hungry. Whatever. With one cry of pleasure, Thomas released himself into Rosie's mouth. Rosie began to swallow as much of Thomas's fluids as she could. Swallowing right, back. Just continue doing this. Swallowing in perfect rhythm to his release. The taste was unlike Rose, anything Rosie had ever experienced before. It was unique and special. Just like her Thomas, she loved it. I guess you could say Thomas was... Coming like a freight train. <laughs> really? Am I the only one that laughed at that? Really? Crickets. <laughs> okay, I see how it is. Lots and lots of crickets. Uh, this is, I'm just reading through the comments as well. This is just... What, what are we doing with our lives? Uh, how much more? Oh my god, there is so much more. <laughs> Look at all this. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Got to refresh again. Motherfucker. Guys, look at all this. Do you really want to go through the rest of this? <laughs> like I said, if you guys want to stop. <laughs> Someone said Ellie must do it. Ellie? Wait, Ellie must do what? Read the story. No. That's a definitive no, and when a woman <laughs> says no, she means no. But when a guy says yes, you can keep poking him, so... <laughs> uh, you know what? Okay. Fine. You win. Yes! Thank you! Since all of you are fucking pussies, I would gladly read the rest of the story on my own. But fine. <laughs> Please, do on your own time. Not right now. Please! There's a reason certain fanfics should be kept to themselves! You troll! Wait, he has that troll face yes. on. Uh, it was better than the alternative. I'm not even going to question. Stop looking at us like that. What? You, keep, you have this look on your face like, aw, yeah, they're suffering. I'm not that much of a sadist. Bull Bull I'm not that much of a sadist. But you are a sadist. Okay, 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 okay. Name one time when you weren't. There you go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one time, but... Oh, no, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, that was ruined. Uh, uh, no, no, that was Rune 2. Well, then there was that one. No, wait, that was me. Yeah. It was one time. There was a lot of times in Flame Amigo 619 Reads where I read something where we didn't have to suffer. Well, that, don't worry, guys. That This is why I'm here, because now I equal out the suffering. Yeah, she she's the fire extinguisher in this flame war. <sighs> That was fun. I enjoyed that. That was fun. Somewhere, at, someone asked Joey, "Where's Pinkie Pie?" Joey's not here at the moment. Please leave Joey's, a message after Joey's the beat. Joey's grabbing some more cheese. <laughs> okay, not Joey's cooking. So, Joey, guess what? The suffering's over. Yay! What happened? I just decided it's <laughs> mine. There's too much of it. There's just Every way too much. And everyone was rage raging, saying, "Stop reading it." Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what? I'm so happy I'm not even gonna make a comment. Yay! <coughs> I sat on Pinkie Pie. Where is she? He right said here. he just sat on her, so he's under. She's under his butt. Along with the four hundred bucks. <laughs> Yes. She having a staring contest with you. I have a staring contest with this. Critic, I wrote you a love a love letter on your. Uh, I let I wrote a love letter for you. Check your Twitter. My Twitter. Oh, that's right. I have a Twitter. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, the little tweet tweet bird thing that you have that you barely use ever. At least he oh, has a Twitter. Fans, fans, fans have already given her enough hate. Okay. Hmm. Where is it? <laughs> Somebody just put on my Twitter, I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, random citizen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. How about a fanfic we can enjoy? Yes. A fanfic we can enjoy. Well, that, Do I look adorable? 
What? Oh. What the hell is that on top of your head? A dead crow. I was about to say, did you steal Frankie Doodle's <laughs> wig again? Oh, the lace is torn. Okay. <laughs> it's a little mini hat. Get relax. Huh. See, it's a little clippy. Hmm. So now what are we going to do? Yeah, Mr. Master of Ceremonies, I have everything planned out. We well, should play think... a game. Well, I didn't have everything planned out. That might have been my fault. Okay. <clears throat> hey, guys! Who wants to play board game online? I was about to suggest that, but the last time we played it, um, we weren't even halfway done with the game with the amount of people we have. So let's just stick to us six, five. Okay. I can't even. I can't even count. Sure. Yeah. Let's go on to something else that we aren't going to hate. Knowing you, that is very rare. <sighs> eh. No, hey, we love board game online. We just we hate do. each other while we're playing it. Well, if you put it like that, I mean, maybe, maybe not. We just hate each other in general. Be right back again. Get the nachos! Rescue the nachos! Rescue the nachos, good sir, or I will plug you in the face. Why are you going to plug people in the face? Derby! Why are you going to do that? You has a derpy. Why don't you give them muffins instead? I just oh want to hug her. Everybody loves muffins. Oh my god, that voice went so well. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, of course it does. It's derpy. Oh my god. I brought nacho items. Hello, Jelly. Can I have some nachos? Also, apparently, Will, you have a Hello. question. Actually, first off, Joey, give Derpy some nachos. Yeah. I want some nachos, nachos please. Yay, I love nachos. They're, they're delicious, too. <laughs> I don't only eat muffins, you know. Nachos are great. So are you... Uh, so, yeah, I guess... Never mind. Forget what? it. I'm not even going to try. What? What? No. What? Nothing. What were you going to say? What were you going to say? I'm going to stare at you until you tell me. Really? I'm gonna stare at you till you tell me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to blink. <laughs> so I guess you can say it's nacho cheese there. Wah, wah, wah. <sighs> oh. That was really bad. That was a stinky That was so smell. bad it make. That was so bad it make me cringe. That friends. was so bad it yeah, made my eyes straighten. <laughs> Anyway, you, yeah. you, you, were saying, you were saying something that, uh, uh you had, they had a question for me or something? Yeah, somebody has a question for you. Uh, they're asking, we haven't seen much of you from YouTube, and I know you work on stuff, but what else has been keeping you from working on your projects and stuff? Funny thing, actually, it's this little entity called Six Days a Week a Work. Fun. Work, working six days a week to keep a house over my head. Yeah, we all have You're a lot. You're the Wicked Witch of the West? <clears throat> Sorry? <laughs> What'd you say to me? You said house over your head, so I just thought of the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> har, har, har. But, I'm but no. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, in all seriousness, I work six days a week, and it, and considering our situation now, we just got a new refinance on the house, and we want to make sure we can keep payments as low as possible, right. and stuff like that. I got I got to do my part, and it, I'm working my I'm working my ass out here, and it's it's not only taking up my time to work on stuff, but also plucking my sanity string by string. It's oh. not fun, but someone's got to do it. 
If you need string or got string, you can use string. But actually, string you guys will be interested to know, Will is actually working on something. I can I can actually say this because it involves me, too. Um, the and release of trailer for it a while ago. They already know about it. No, no, no. Not that. Something else. Something else? Yeah, me oh, and Will. Oh, I know what you're talking that, about. Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that's something else. Me and Will, as part of my upcoming 3,000 subscription thing on it, we've decided that it's only fair... And we do winter wrap up. As soon as I three hit months of winter coolness and awesome holidays. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna enjoy it though. But we already finished well, the project. I want to be there with a the camera, man. I want to. I want to just film your face while you're singing. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, apparently, with every bro analysis out there, every time they hit three thousand subs, they are obligated by law to do a cover of a cover of winter wrap up. And apparently, I, I got dragged. I want to something else. A fuck when a wrap up. I want to do something else when I hit three thousand. Do you want to do big booty bitches or something? I'm walking. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. That's the number of weeks you have left to live. <laughs> Besides, Ellie, don't me and you already have something planned? Yes, we do. We're, we're planning Zach's murder. I'm a Ah, that's right. <laughs> uh, Remember you, me, BronyCon, you bring the chainsaw, I bring the plastic bags, and we hide the body? Wait a minute, I thought you were going to bring the plastic bags. I was bringing the whips. The, well, damn it, I thought that that was your job. No, 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 wait, 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 hold on. It was Tanya who was going to bring the chainsaw. <laughs> she, she's the one that's going to bring the chainsaw. priceless. Jesus Christ, woman! Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So what? yeah, I'm actually very happy that I'm not staying in a hotel with y'all this <laughs> year. Wow. Uh. <laughs> I hate my digestive system sometimes. Wow. Apparently, oh I deserve god, a punishment. I just did that on fucking live stream. Oh my god. Apparently, people think that I deserve a punishment after the stupid fanfic I forced everyone through, so... Gee, I wonder why they would think that. I don't know why they would think that. I mean, it's not like I did anything bad. Okay. <laughs> Kidding me. <laughs> but anyway... Yeah, let's get some board game online set up. Let's do that. Let's do some fun stuff. Um, somebody else should probably set it up because the last time you tried to do it during live stream, you almost overheated your computer. This is true. That's kind of why we can't do with so many people, which is why we're sticking with just you know, you select players. A few select players being the number of insane idiots that are sitting right here. It's a vinyl scratch. Oh look, it's a vinyl scratch. Scratch. Hi vinyl, haven't seen you for a while. How you been? Been doing very good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I have... How's Octavia? I think she's in the closet somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> How do you let yeah. her out? Yeah. Eh, it kind of happens, I guess. I guess. I always forget. <laughs> I, still can't, I still can't get the doctor to leave the blue box. Man, do you really think he's ever going to leave that blue box or at least throw a freaking ass party in there? He it's like has it's bigger on the inside. He can throw like, the best party. And if I can convince him to throw a party, then I want you to DJ. Drop the bass. I dropped her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you literally dropped the base. <laughs> nice going. <laughs> well, I kind of just threw it. Wait, wait we were that. dropping that base? Yeah, I kind of dropped it, though. Oh, well. Damn it, that is the I last kinda... time I used days off to go fishing! I kind of lost your glasses, Zach. I'm, I feel bad. That's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs>
Oh my god, her eyes are not magenta! <laughs> well, I'm more purplish. I'm just, and I've just started a flame war. <laughs> That's a fun thing. All right. So, let's see. I did say Who's we were going to have some... Uh, I'm hosting it. So, I believe some people... Um, what was it? Um, hmm. I believe there's one guy who said he wanted to join. Um, thank you. Oh, yeah, it was quick. Right. He was here last time. So <laughs> what? What? Nothing. It's just like I was just thinking. It's, he's he's probably somebody who I have repeatedly killed on Minecraft. That was literally what I was thinking. It's like, oh yeah, it's quick script. That's like, oh. <laughs> uh, quick script butt in here, you crazy fool. Well, let's get this. The only thing crazy right. fool about him is that he keeps on trying to sneak up on me and surprise me in Minecraft. When he does, I'm just gonna turn around and kill him. <laughs> this is I did that to him like what? Rather unfortunate, my ass. He does it to himself. <clears throat> he knows I'm violent. He knows I'm crazy, and he knows that scaring me is a good way to get me to react. But but I shall be. I need to I need to relocate. Okay. You just like you just say that because you think it's hilarious hearing me scream out of terror. Yes, it is. It actually is. It's freaking hilarious. <clears throat> what? Uh, what? Uh. Nothing. God damn, Cat. You outburp some of the guys. Shut up. <laughs> Leave her alone. Come on. There he is. He's a quick script. Hey, quick. Hello, quick scripts. He's a quick script. Who said scaring you was a good way to get a reaction from you? <sighs> oh, also, no webcam. New computer. Don't own one. Woo. No worries. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so I got the game loaded up. We gotta wait for Joey to get back. Oh, by the way, Ellie, I left a mm -hmm. little surprise for you in your Minecraft house. Oh yeah, I, I saw that actually. No, 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 I did something new. You did. So yep. it wasn't just with the pumpkins this time. No, it was with the pumpkins, but there's a lot more. I had help from an admin, so you can guess how many pumpkins I had to work with. You filled our house with pumpkins? From top to bottom, including yard. <clears throat> I'm back. Welcome you to messed with my flowers, you fucktard. I'm gonna fucking murder you. I didn't touch you. the flowers. Thank God. Don't touch my flowers. You leave my By the way, Mage flowers. helped me. Of course she did. Why am I not surprised? She, she pumpkined our house into oblivion. We'll go check later. Just we were bored. <gasps> <laughs> About an hour ago, so we're like, why not? By the way, guys, I'm just going to also put this down for uh, two things. One, um, after this, after I think a game or two, then I'm actually going to get on live stream, and um, I'll show you guys around the Ronalysis Minecraft server, just to show you what it's like. We will, then, uh, I will be joining you. And then we'll get to Leopard Ed 2, and then the real fun begins tonight. So. Oh, I can't stay for the real fun. I'm only here for Left 4 Dead 2 and oh. You can be here for, like, Mario Party if you want, so. I don't own Mario Party. You can Neither do any of us. He plays it and then has us pick characters it to be the computer. Yeah, oh. pretty much. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just wait, though. We actually, at Fun Story, at BabsCon, we actually did get to play for real Mario Party. Yeah, it was Mario Party 6, though. Six? Guess who still won? So many of those games. Oh, oh there's going to be ten soon, so. Oh, God. There's almost as many Mortal Kombats. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. There is. Oh. There's a shit ton of Mortal Kombat games, man. Mortal Kombat X. Can't wait. Woo. Mortal Kombat! 
Who's Camo Girl? I don't know. What? Camo Girl's in the game. Who is this? Did you set the game to private? Yeah, I did. Mm. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. I, I have my Skype closed. Hold on. I need to... Is... Wait, is that... Wait, is Camel Girl Jewel? No, I'm actually going to pass off on this game because I'm playing the game with um, Spencer right now. Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, tell Spencer we say Ready? hi. Wait, don't... Don't, don't start. I will. Me. We're not starting. Don't worry. <clears throat> yeah, we're not starting. On the bright side, I just hit 202 subscribers. Woo. Nice. I'm not important at all. Hey, 200 is pretty good, I would say. Yeah, for mooching off uh, you. Yeah. I what? give up. I'm just going to wind up perfect. I haven't made a video in months. Hey, everybody, everybody works with what they're given. <clears throat> they got to do what they got to do. All right, so let's get everybody in here. I don't know who Camo Girl is, but whatever. We've got um, Jewel. You said you're not playing. Yeah, I'm. I'm like I said, I'm playing. A, I'm playing actually Minecraft with Spencer right now. Oh. Okay. So let's see here. One, two, three, four. So that's. I think that's all of us. So let's just get going. Where's the start button? Where's the? God damn it! Where the hell is the start button? Did the start button just vanish? Quick script, quick script is hosting it. Am I? You're on the top of the list. Oh yeah, you are. What? Oh, there. How are you? Where's the? Fixed it. Okay then. Oops. Okay. Whatever. Let's roll with it. Ah, roll with it like dice. Ah, you're so clever. Ha 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 ha. <clears throat> now, I believe for Left 4 Dead 2, that game will feature me, Quick Will, and somebody else who has the game. Okay. I still plan to be in the call just because. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Mage has it, but I think she's sleeping. Yeah. A little sleepy head. Dude, she's in Lithuania. Leave her alone. How'd she get in here? How did Skull? Well, you know what? Whatever. I'm not questioning it. But he's he's observing. Okay. Ooh, yay, the TARDIS. I love the TARDIS. The TARDIS is it's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna assist the uh, advertisement for something if you don't mind, Tune. Uh, sure. For what? If you guys, if the people on stream look up Next Generation Bronies, you'll see a comic that's coming out by Metama, a fellow analysis. Read it. Tune and Nelly have one. I have one. A few other people have one. Just Scorch and Incros have one. Watch it. Read it. Love it. Woo. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to that comic. I'm just surprised. It's by gonna be a series. I know, I'm just surprised by the fact that me and Ellie have a kid. Prelude, yeah. Yeah, it's just, okay, it's not It's not that we get shipped enough as it is, but now we're shipped and have a kid. Hey, they, it's like in that one movie, it's like, they will go down with their ships. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bloody big ship. Uh, hmm. How many ships are there for one fandom? Does it matter? It matters to me because I'm surprised. Also, yeah, the people entire just... internet knew you two were gonna have a kid like, <laughs> at some point. So, yeah, people <laughs> watching the stream, go ahead and send in your questions, and we'll do a little Q and A. So I will also be taking questions. Yeah, this guy over here will be taking questions. <laughs> I also wait, wait, wait. Did I hear that right? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah. Hmm. I have one too. I have one too. <laughs> Where did Ow! Boink. Boink! TF2, the game that I play. 
Where did Cat go? By the way, I have the um the eleventh uh, Doctor Sonic. I have um River Songs. Hmm. Mine has a claw feature, therefore it is cooler. Well, mine can turn two different colors. Never mind, I lose. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Actually, Ellie? Um, right now. Somebody wants me to play Goat Simulator. Well, guys, I don't have Goat oh, Simulator. Oh God, Goat Simulator! I don't even have the. I don't like have the game on Steam. I almost bought it during like the Steam Summer Sale, but that game is insane. Hello! Ow! Wee! Ow! Como? Sorry, I can't get enough of Mark Markiplier playing that game. Oh. I don't watch Markiplier. Is he good? Markiplier's oh, good, I think. He, he, he's, <laughs> what, he's what... He's what... He's honestly what PewDiePie should be. Hey, PewDiePie... Well, you know PewDiePie's what, PewDiePie's paycheck begs to differ. <laughs> Okay, uh, here we go. Quick strip. You got a question. Out of the people that you know, which do you think is the craziest and why? Oh shit. Um, it actually be um the Oneiromancer. Oh, uh, Peter. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, he is fucking. I, nuts. This is the only explanation I need. In the Rift Cafe call and chat, we call him the Sexicorn. Oh yeah, I've t I've t I've talked to uh, uh, Peter before. He's <laughs> he's a riot. He's a lot of fun to yeah, be around. Awesome. Alright. Oh, who your favorite like, Martian. Who would I like to be IRL shipped with? Um, well, besides, I guess, um, uh, Ellie. The answer is always Ellie. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really thought. I mean, I guess maybe Silver Quill or Golden Fox. Uh, <laughs> maybe Peter just to fuck with it. Well, literally fuck with him. I don't know. <laughs> Really the best um, why does the song fit Zach so well? Mr. Douche, but hey! <laughs> Come on! I guess other than that, probably Mage. But Mage is too cool, so... Mage is awesome. Mage is like, your, like the best big sister you can ask for, so it's kind of awkward if you were... Yeah. Um... Do you and any of your friends play any of the Elder Scrolls games? Uh, yeah, actually, um, Ellie is a huge Skyrim fan, and I know Alex, um, Alex Rose Hedgehog, is a great Skyrim fan. I don't think anybody else plays it though. I do. You do? Um, what? what nope. Game? Uh, Skyrim. I played it. Um, not a big fan. I prefer the Fallout series. Yeah, I still haven't played Fallout. Actually, I have Fallout. I, I like Fallout too. That one's actually pretty cool. I finished Fallout New Vegas a little bit ago, and uh, the for anyone Yay, who's gonna I'm ask, back. the ending okay. I chose was Mr. House. I haven't even gotten like to Ooh, that New one. Vegas. Mm hmm I did that one because I fucked up and I was like, oh shit, I should have killed him before I gave him something. Oh yeah, you're. Just... I just started getting into Kingdom Hearts. What do you people want from me? All right. Uh, have any of you played Shovel Knight? I want to. It looks fun, but I don't know. Shovel Knight. Play. Shovel Knight is a new game that just came out. It's it was a it was a Kickstarter game. Okay. Uh, let's see. When creating Mythic Knights, did you take any particular aspects from previous Power Rangers for your own Rangers? <laughs> Absolute. What? Whoops. Did I mean to throw that at you, Ellie? I'm sorry. Who died? Ellie? No, she got sent back free. I'm sorry. Okay. He gonna be peace. So what was that question again? Have we taken any particular aspects from previous Power Rangers for your own Rangers? Absolutely. When me and Joey were designing Power Rangers, we looked at the best series and we took like little aspects from them in order to give you a hint. Toon Critic's favorite Power Rangers series is Time Force. It was obvious. <clears throat> yeah. my... Dino Thunder is always best series. Ooh. Yes, okay. well, none of you will ever guess what my favorite series is. It's Mighty Morphin, we all know it. Damn it! You aren't supposed to give it away! Can I have a ranger? I want a ranger, I want a ranger. Who are you getting with? Who? Oh, what? You can, you, you can have a ranger, I guess. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> All right. Um, but we took a lot of aspects from, like, the darker stuff. I took a lot of aspects from uh, Time Force and Lightspeed. Uh, Joey took I wanted a lot to take some aspects from the lighter stuff. He took it from the original. Um, speaking so of Power Rangers, the Power Rangers movie that's going to be live, that's going to be new reboot. What do you guys all think it's going to be like? I'm actually pretty interested. Like, yeah, I am because they're going. Uh, I am too because they're taking a darker turn with it. The series, which is going to be interesting. Um, yeah. yeah. Joey, you were saying? I find it interesting they're getting writers from X Men to do it. Hey. Oh God. I think it could. They're gonna kill off everyone. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where no, Green start? Ranger, don't die now. Uh, what else we got here? What else, okay. speed Do you, any of you guys play any trading card games? Well, I play Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic from time to time. Um, so. what? I do. Trading card games? Yeah, trading um, card games. <laughs> well, I, same um, that. I just start. I just started playing um, Magic also, and I playing the My Little Pony CCG, CCG card game. Um, I have a drawer full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards next to me. I have Naruto cards in there. I have Hot Wheels Acceleracer cards in there. And Hot Wheels Acceleracer is a great series. Go watch it now after the stream. Wait, 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 wait. Hot Wheels had a trading card game. Yep. Mm-hmm. What the f- okay. Okay. It's based on the animated movies, and the animated movies were amazing. So go watch them after the stream. Animated movies? There's movies? Yes. Yeah. Hot Wheels yeah, World Race, Hot Wheels 35 is the first movie, and then the four sequels are also really good. Four sequels? Yeah. Yes. Where have you been, Toon? <laughs> it's Hot Wheels. Yeah, it's Mr. racing cars. Keep... Yeah, yes, Mr. And it was very it totally dark because people for fucking died. That doesn't mean that I know every single tune in existence. Then you also have magic job. cards in my hand right now. But you should go watch it. It's a really good series. It's on YouTube. Okay. I'll watch a Hot Wheel movie when I have time. Watch the first one, which is Highway 35. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. This came out early 2000s, so the 3D animation is kind of limited. Apparently, for me. Never mind. No, first off, Joey. People think that your favorite season of Power Rangers was Operation Overdrive. <laughs> I will murder the souls of anyone who says it again! Um, Operation Your favorite season was Overdrive. Operation Overdrive. So bad. Overdrive. <laughs> we killed them. Good job, team. Good job! <laughs> uh, but yeah, Joey, what kind of trading card teams do you have? <laughs> well, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh a lot. But then stuff came up, and I had to sell the cards. Oh, that hurts. And then, like, and now I collect Power Ranger cards. I, I tried to, I oh, tried geez. to teach Zach Wait, the ways of Power game? Rangers poker. Power Rangers poker is bullshit. Don't ever play Power Rangers poker with Joey because he will win. He rigged the deck. He didn't shuffle it. He's a cheater. He's a scam. He's a fraud. And all those Power Ranger cards so, out oh, burn. Would you say I'm a flim flam? Oh! Well, don't hold Get back. the Tell fuck us out. Really <laughs> well then, I'm going to bring them again so next time, why don't you shuffle the cards? Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> um, Ellie, you have, actually hang on first. Will, do you Will, you, trading, Will, you yeah. played trading card games, obviously. Yeah. The only, the only, the only one I used to play back back in the day was Yu-Gi-Oh. Other than that, no. Oh, yeah. I also have Pokemon cards. Yeah, I have Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh too. So, I actually had some of the Digimon cards. Believe it or not. Oh, I also have um. I actually Lost, I uh, crap. What was that? What was the game? Monster Masters or something it's called. It was an old yeah. anime back then. Oh I have my god, my butt <laughs> Actually, I know one card that I tried, but Soul I couldn't really get into it. Was... You, you bitch. I was about to say that. Hey, don't be calling my lady a bitch. That's on Duel Masters. I have that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it seemed, uh, seemed okay, but I, honestly, I couldn't really get that into it. But it... No, it could be a lot better, but... Mm. What right. you gonna do? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, what? what? Look what? at me go! Okay, what? that's it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm finally winning! <laughs> oh my god, 
that was glorious. That is bullshit. <laughs> you can't be hating Bad hair. Anyway. Wow. Um, Five I, times I've rolled the dice. You fucker. <laughs> Alright, um... Hey, Zach, hey, 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 hey! Get what him. What happened? What I happened? I can't get him. I'm, uh, I'm incapacitated. Um, actually, I happened. I also slowed you down, so have fun. <laughs> Alright, I got a question here. Have you ever seen Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc Vive, and what are your thoughts on the episodes that have been released? I've actually only seen the first two episodes, and I have to say, if you can get past the fact that the main character has a circus-themed deck, <laughs> and that he he kind of looks better than the Zexel one, then I think you can get past the series. I think wait, it's okay. What? Wait, there's a new Yu-Gi-Oh coming out? Uh, there's already been a new Yu-Gi-Oh out. What? Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh Arc Five. Shit, I'm behind. <laughs> Oh, also, uh, Tune, when you uh, watch um, Hot Wheels, do not watch Battle Force 5. That's the TV series. It sucked. Uh, the movies are better? The movies are better. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Have you guys heard of the game Telltale made The Wolf Among Us? I yes, have, yes I... of course I have. I'm curious to see... I want to see gameplay footage of it twice. Yeah. I'm I'm a little interested in it. I've heard that it's really good, and I've heard it's like one of Telltale's best games. I'm still kind of stuck on Walking Dead. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm still stuck on Sam and Max. I miss the comic. I miss the comedy games. Yeah. Joey and Zach, what are your thoughts on Sly Four Thieves in Time? I think we've been asked that quite a lot. I mm-hmm. didn't get to play it because I don't have the system for it. I I bought it like when it first came out. Um, I really enjoyed it. There were a lot of stupid moments in the story, and I hate the fact that they cliffhangered us, but other than that, the gameplay for it is great. It feels like all the other Sly Cooper games, and it looks better, too, so... I enjoyed it. Now, this first order of business... (laughs) Uh, So, I have no regrets for that. Um, Um, Magic Star Effect. Oh, you fu... Uh, and you think you got that? I was in the lead before he got the roll. And just for that. Just for what? Ah! Motherfucker! I never get in the lead. What are, okay, what are your opinions on the Sapphire, Emerald, and Ruby 3DS remakes? They could be cool, but I don't have a 3DS to play it, so... Um, I would play them, but my brother has the only 3DS I have in this, my house, and he owned... If, if he owns something, he's not letting go of it for shit. Mm. He doesn't even use the damn thing, that's the problem. Um, yeah. Cat, are you still here? She's dead. No. Nope. She's kind of she's kind of in and out due to her internet. Oh. Now then, let's make fun of her behind her back. So you two have a child, Tune. Prelude. She's gonna hurt you, man. She's gonna <laughs> hurt me for the pumpkins. Uh, let's see. Which part of a chocolate cornet do you think is the head, the fat end, or the skin? What the hell is a chocolate cornet? Oh, I get the reference. I get the reference. <laughs> What's a chocolate cornet? Yeah, I'm, and what is a chocolate cornet? A, cho- a chocolate cornet is pretty much this uh, dessert in Japan where it's pretty much this um, bread with uh, chocolate cream inside that's shaped like a seashell. Mm. I mean, shaped like a dick, because that's what it looks like to me. The joke has been made a million times. <laughs> Why the hell am I a cow? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> that means, according to Hindu lifestyle... Is it Hindu? Yes, I think it's Hindu. You are lesser than a uh, untouchable. Hey! <laughs> Have fun with that. Hello, Adam person. Because apparently he wanted us to say hi to him. Just say hi to him. Just say hi, Adam. Oh, yeah. Hi, I don't know you. Hello. There you go. I'm so far behind, but I have a grenade. 
Uh, let's see. What Pokemon YouTubers do you look up to? Um, Pokemon Witch. YouTubers? Pokemon YouTubers, yeah. Um, I don't really watch many. Jay Witz is awesome. Look up him. He's awesome. I know who Jay Witz is. So. I was just about to say Jay Witz. Jay Witz is cool. Other than that, really not anybody. Um, let's see. Uh, if you would play a Pokemon Where did Nuzlocke... I go in the pyramid? Nice going. <laughs> if you guys would play a Pokemon Nuzlocke, what game would it be and what would your team be? Okay. Nuzlocke? A Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge is like Pokemon Hardcore, and let me tell you this, I suck terribly at it, and I and didn't Nuzlocke, even get past the, the second jam. <laughs> Nuzlocke, here are the rules. If Pokemon dies, you have to remove it from your team and bash it. And... Oh, that's mean. Yeah. Um, you can only catch one Pokemon per area. It's really hardcore. And it's the first one you get. Uh, I couldn't even do it. It was way, way harder than I expected. So I've done it. It was hard. I the loved only it. person I know that went through like a Nuzlocke and won was uh, Pro Jared, and he went through a uh, Pokemon. I th which one did he go through? I don't remember which one, but he made it all the way through. Did I already say what my main team would be? No, I don't think he ever did. Well, Mewtwo, 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 Mewtwo. <laughs> Mewtwo. Stop that. Go ahead, wait, No, wait, no, I fixed it. Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mew, Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mew. <laughs> <laughs> no! My main no. team is always Charizard, Lapras, Raichu, Parasect, Sceptile, and Staraptor. Mine will always be Charizard, Lucario, Go Goat. Um, Raichu, uh, Greninja. You guys are gonna hate me when I tell you this. I never finished a Pokemon game. Hey, neither have I. So. Um, Join the club, Sunny boy. Yeah. I've yet to I'm ever beat a Pokemon game. <laughs> quick, quick! Don't feel so bad. Actually, Pokemon Y is like my first Pokemon game I ever played, besides P Pokemon Snap. Hmm. I actually well, had Pokemon Yellow. On... Well, it depends on what you mean by finish. Finish as in made it to the league, because then I've done that. I made it to the league, but I never finished the game. Like, I never beat the league. Do you I have did. any favorite famous voice actors? Michael Solicide. Oh, I can't imagine why. Oh, the soul's voice is so awesome. James Wait. Arnold Taylor, Bryce Pappenbrook, um, Nolan North, um, those are really the top three I can think of off the top of my head. For me, Tara Strong, Tom Kenny, and Jerry Trainer. Yes. And Christian what? Panza. What about you, Will? Uh, hmm. Uh, Steve Bloom, uh, Tara Strong, uh, Rob Paulson, Jim Cummings. Um, let's see what else. I'm trying to think. And Quickie's all the way back at the end again. Nice going. Don't be using that pogo stick too many times. Cat. Cat, you gotta throw a bomb! You got a bomb, you gotta throw it somewhere! Cat. Is Cat even here? She threw it, she threw it to Quick. All right, quick, quick, you got to throw the bomb. And kaboom. No, here's the thing. I'm not even trying anymore because I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. um, I, yeah, just to, just to name a few, and, uh, oh, oh, Frank Welker is also one of them, so, yeah. Man, why you got to shoot a cow? Come on. Come on. Uh, what is my oh, favorite TF2 easy. class? Ah, uh, soldier. Heavy. Scout. Never played the games. Curse you. Get, get out of this game and do it now. Now. I play whatever damn well I want to play. Shunny boy. Well, I am the overriding commander of Mangus XLR. You'll do what I want where you want to try a robot with a car on top to be crushing your house. <laughs> you ain't my pop, huh? And besides, I already sent a robot to crush you right about now. 
Sorry, what was that? I was in my TARDIS. <laughs> you can't pull a fucking TARDIS out of nowhere. Yes, I, I can. Have you talked to Thunder? I can. Okay, how about this? I sneak a weeping angel into your TARDIS. I teleport out. I have teleportation on my... As, okay, uh, you're, not, you're, not, you're just fucking god-moding. Yeah, I know. I'm in a trolley mood. I feel inferior. I didn't even have to break out Excalibur. Okay, I break out five Excaliburs, <laughs> and I stab you to the head five times each! Lost every single shot with, by blinding. I like Excalibur. No, no, no. I hold my Excalibur above my head like He-Man and, and say the secret phrase, and you get blinded. <laughs> or, we can just get the, or we can just get the Excalibur from Soul Eater. No. No, that Excalibur's too insane for me. I love that one. It's so funny, and Zach hates it. I hate Excalibur. He's stupid. He's funny. No, he's not. <laughs> what, who was the character that you like despise? Was it Black Star? Black Star. Yes. <laughs> uh. Still a freaking awesome show, though. How much you, speaking of Doctor Who, how much are you looking forward to Series Eight? I cannot wait. I cannot Highly wait. excited. I cannot wait for Doctor Who. I cannot wait for Walking Dead. I cannot wait for Arrow. I cannot wait for Flash. I cannot wait for Gotham. I cannot you're hate me. I don't care about the Walking Dead at all. You motherfucker. I never got uh, into it. I'm so sorry. Everyone has their opinions. Uh, what sure. else? I got a lot of shows that I'm looking forward to. So. I watched like a few. I don't like Game of Thrones either. I never really got into it. I watched it, and I never got into it. I am actually looking forward to um, Once Upon a Time. See, I'm still stuck on season one of that. I've actually gotten to halfway of season Actually, two. you know what I need to do? I need to catch up on Classic Who. Classic. What's that one? i never heard of it. Classic Doctor Who. Ah. Yeah, Classic Doctor Who is good. I actually... um. It's awesome of the old classic Tom Baker stuff, and I love it. So, yeah. Also, uh, people are asking, like, are you interested for Rainbow Rocks after seeing the new synopsis? Mm. Yeah, I didn't look at the synopsis, but I'm gonna watch it anyway. It's the only thing pony that's made to by. To sum the it up, Rainbow Rocks is gonna be with okay. Rainbow Dash forms a group called the Rainbow. No spoilers, and please. And fine. Just. Banned. There you go. So, sorry, I, I wish I I wish to be surprised. Okay, from what I read, I'm not sure, <laughs> yes, but I'm indifferent in it. Like I'll I'm just say it. this. I'll just say this. I'll only say this. Pass is gonna be happy because his wife was in it. <laughs> and voice is probably gonna rage even harder. Yes. And you're I'm just gonna be. Wait, what? Do you want to just... petition to make a female Doctor Who? No. No, it'd be, it'd be kind of weird because it'd be um, Doctor who S. I I just don't think there should be... Okay, I'm all for different things, but I don't think a female Doctor Who would work simply because of how the fans would react to it. I would want one, but I don't want one because I don't want to see the whole fandom rip itself apart. You don't want all the girls in the fandom to go insane because they don't have a guy to lush over. No, I want all the lesbians to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Hey, at least you're appealing no. to one part of the group. Yeah. Like from from a girl's perspective, it wouldn't feel right to have a female doctor after like so many male doctors. Just like it didn't feel right to have a black president for several years, but then look what happened. Um, I actually don't really care about politics, so... How would you react to seeing the gender-bent version of yourself? Dude, I'd fuck her in a second. <laughs> I'd be terrified. Dude, I'd be I'd, like, ooh, he, she looks... Mm. I'd want yeah. to hit, like, play game, play video games with him, I guess. I don't know. I, I'd be like, wow. You're hot. <laughs> Am I, at least I finally know what it is to fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what we'd the haters meant. We'd probably be fighting over Tanya, because if I know the female me, she'd be a lesbian. 
Well, this is honest. Why? No, actually, True, yeah. I the female me too would probably be the same here. <laughs> no, I'm straight, but if I if I was a girl, I would want to be a lesbian. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. Do you think Ron Perlman should have voiced Deathstroke in Batman Arkham Origins instead of Mark Rolston? I didn't really notice that much of a difference, so... I think he should have. Uh, I think the best Deathstroke will always be Monty Bennett from Arrow, so... You know who's the best death anything that's an assassin? Deadpool. Deadpool. This is true. Yes. This is also true. Very, very, very true. true. <laughs> Did anyone else play Deadpool the game? Yes, I loved it, and I'm so glad I played it. I want, to pl I want to play it. It is so much fun. I played it at my friend's house, and I had, like... Ooh, love, we, love, have love, a, love, love. we have a question from the Observer Skull Production. Who's fatter, Olive Hardy, Peter Griffin, or Joey after a hot dog eating contest? Oh, oh. I don't even like hot dogs! I don't even like hot dogs! Peter Griffin. Wait, Joey, you don't like hot dogs? Obama. Yeah, there. Yeah. I mean, Obama. <laughs> I don't really care, so. Aw, oh, why'd you gotta do that? Because she would have won. Hmm? Let her win. No. Okay, then. Oh. Oh. Um. You better run! Uh. uh oh, wait, she's already dead. Nice. Oh well. Favorite Doctor Who villain? The Ooh. Master. The Master. I thought it was Second. Unit. U Unit? Uh, Unit's the good guys. But don't look at me, I don't know this shit! <laughs> the Master, don't I think, is like my favorite. But okay. secondaries would have to be either the Daleks or the Weeping Angels. So. Oh my god, the Weeping Angels Weeping are Weeping Angels are my favorite. Weeping Angels <laughs> make me legitimately terrified of statues. Oh my god, I can't... When they, the one episode where the Statue of Liberty became a Weeping Angel, I was like, no! Oh my gosh, that was just awesome, like, though! I remember watching it, and I'm just like, mm-hmm, what? Well, fuck this, I'm not going to New York. Nope, 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 nope. You say that as cats in the chat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My brother's loud if you hear him. Blech. No, it's all right. Have you read any of Deadpool before the video game came out? Yes, actually. I read quite a few issues of Deadpool. I watched every single thing that Deadpool was in. I think I had a comic. I want to buy more. Yeah. Um, I actually have a drawer full of Captain America comics. And then See, I, I have... Kind of um, like, uh, I kind of respect Captain America now after I saw the Oh, yeah, I Soldier. forgot. I'm supposed to find you Captain Mexico. That's right, you were. <laughs> uh, do you have an Xbox One or PS4? No, but my mom has an Xbox One, so... My mom, my mom's cool. She's got, like, a big flat-screen TV, and she's, like, a, an Assassin's Creed lover. She loves Assassin's Creed and Uncharted, so... That's why I got. That's why I went to Vapscon. I got her a uh, Assassin's Creed My Little Pony crossover, and she just looked at me. She's just like, I love you. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, just, just, I want you to look at this real quick. I'm gonna send it to you over Skype. Okay. That's Captain Mexico. <coughs> That's Captain. Really? Yeah. Look like Zach. Really? Yep. <laughs> uh, two hours into the stream, and we've only got about ten dollars. Oh well, maybe people are busy with other stuff. But we shall keep posting the link just for you people, just in case. So. Donate! What do you think of the MLP comics, and have you read any of them? Yes, I love the comics. I got the chance to, like, read a lot of them. The so comics are awesome! I comics have every single great. one of them. I plan to actually read that's one review. Nope. Oh. Go ahead, sorry. <clears throat> No, Isn't Captain a... Mexico amazing, Zach? He is, and I wish that he was real. <laughs> he is real. 
There's a comic. My God. But it's in, but it's in Spanish. Of course it is. Uh, concerning the MLP comics, I'm actually going to be reviewing one of the arcs, the Reflection arc, which I, I think it's I think it's really well put together. Sombra. The fact that Sombra and Celestia get shipped together legitimately, I'm just like, oh boy. <coughs> and I like how nobody mentions it in the real comics. Not real comics, real episodes, so. Uh... Do you think Mark Hamill is still the best Joker? Yes. Yeah. Although Heath Ledger is a close second. Did I give back the Lawrence's bucket? Nah. Oh dear God, who got shot? Uh. Let's see. Let's go in. What do we got here? Weed. Yeah, man, finally going to get some of that good shit. <laughs> oh, God, don't you dare. Max! Oh, 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 You motherfucker! Wait, did he win? God damn it, he I won. I guess I did. You Go stole me? the victory from Eliora. You boner. <laughs> I, 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 well, congrats, Zach. We're last place, brothers. Hello, <laughs> fucking Louia. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. If you have an arsenal of six superpowers, what would you choose to have? Now, that's a good question. Six? Um, six, yeah. Quick I'll script, go. I fucking hate you. I love you, too. Hey. Script, I fucking hate you. Back I love off. you too. Back off. Back off, man. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, arsenal of six superpowers. <laughs> I'm gonna go with flight, telekinesis. Well, actually, no. If I have telekinesis, I can fly, like Chronicle. So, uh, fire powers, hard skin. Mind control? No, wait. That would come under telekinesis, so. Just say you'd want to be Professor X. Nah. No, telekinesis is moving thing. Having access to all Professor the Professor X doesn't have telekinesis. He has powerful telepathy. Having access to all sorts of information. Uh, being able to have infinite money would probably work. Um... Infinite money's good. Money's and invis and invisibility. So. Oh, How about me, me? How am I going next? How am I going next? Then go. All right. If oh. I had six powers, I'd probably want flight, the power to summon thunder, so I can bring down the thunder. So you're Thor. <laughs> no, I am JT. No, you are Thor. JT. Thor. JT. Thor. If, if, if Joey turns into Thor, oh. then I'm like so a Loki fan. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Oh, geez, yeah, yeah, that night, that night, thank the law, thank the law. You're welcome. <laughs> I like I said, I wanted someone thunder, not like Thor. You are Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Admit it, you are Thor. Mm -hmm. Accept your destiny. Moving on. I also, <clears throat> I also want to have invisibility and mind control, and the ability to eat without getting fat. Hello. Thanks a lot, Skulls Productions. By the way, you can't. What are you trying to get? I'm trying to get batteries in there. Huh? Six superpowers. What would you want? <laughs> Flight, telepathy, telekinesis, py pyrokinesis. Oh, God. Bye. You already have a flamethrower. Is that enough? No. <laughs> Super strength and... 
I have one more. Super speed? No. And sh and the ability to manipulate shadows. Ta manipulate dark energy. If you were going to manipulate shadows, you make you the shadow man from uh, Princess of the Frog. I'm not the fucking <laughs> shadow man. Go fuck yourself with a broken beer bottle, you piss. I like the shadow man. Um, I guess I'm sensing a lot of tension between you two. Why are I you pulling up underwear, Joey? Uh, He's always fucking trolling me whenever we play a game together. No, actually, I just didn't want you to win. I wanted to win. And in games. Oh, right. yeah, damn I never got to fucking win that goddamn game. Well, I have I, I was literally three spaces away. And I haven't won either. Well, I don't care. Hey, Zach came in last. What are you two complaining about? Anyway, back to the question. Um, for me, um, flight, flight, super speed, super strength, hypnosis, uh, uh, psychokinesis, uh, hmm, what else? Uh, what else? Um, I'll I'll, st I'll stick with five. Is it my turn? It's my yeah, fl turn. So yeah, flight, super strength, super speed, psych psychokinesis, hypnosis, and yeah. I would have super intellect. The ability to travel in time. Time travel, that's a power I wanted. Uh, <laughs> too late. X ray vision. And the ability to make cartoons come to life. Yo, that's a good power. Why didn't I fucking wish for that? Damn it. Oh, X ray vision. Yeah, that's a, that, that's, that's a sixth one I'll take. No, I, I want the power to make cartoons come to life. No, actually, I only want one superpower. The power of grant wishes, so I can make anything fucking happen. That's well, if you can only grant that three. Cheating. Well, infinite wishes. That is also cheating. And That's OP. not cheating. It's OP. No, no, be, Genie can do it. That Genie is being a god it, so mod. Can do it. It's OP. O penis. You said it, not me. <laughs> Did he just say that? Take it home with you. Huh. Alright, guys, I have to be off. I will be back later, though. Okay. Right. See you, right, I'll talk to y'all later. See ya. That's Sparky. I am not the only one without a webcam, yes. I am not special pony. I am the only one wearing an ascot, though. You're an ascot? I have an ascot. My OC wears a suit and an ascot. Also, hello, Cat Avenger. You're an awesome drawer and awesome artist, and we love you. I don't know her. Howdy, Cat. Cat. Oh, Cat. Oh, Cat Avenger. She's a. She draws fan art for the Bro Analysis peeps. She's awesome. Yes. Why does uh, no one draw for the little guy? The little guy that nobody knows. Because you're not an analysis. Because no one knows. have to know them to draw for them. Mm. Here's a power, the power to manipulate... Oh, the power to manipulate people's emotions. So, basically, you're making them bipolar. Hi. I'm <laughs> not <Hi>. bipolar, cat. <laughs> You know, actually, there was a superhero with the power to make you gay. <laughs> really? Yeah, his name is Deadpool. <laughs> it was a girl superhero. Um, it was uh, she has she has ra she has a rainbow cape, all this stuff, and she had to like do some kind of trick, and then you turn gay or straight, depending on your preference. What if you were bi? Then you become none. I think we're almost at three hours, guys. So I gotta close the stream before it before it you know decides to clock out my computer. So, 
Yeah, join me at um. Join us. Join us. Or at least join me or whatever. At um. What time? What time? What time? We're gonna be having dinner soon, so I don't know how long that's gonna be. Um. 5 p.m. Central or so, and I'm gonna kick get started with like a little game for everybody else to enjoy. So. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Central. Isn't it like 15 minutes from now? Yeah, so just hop 13. on a live stream from there, and we shall see you there. Okay. Hopefully we can get more donations and shoot. Remember right. to invite me this time, Zach. Yes, yeah, quick. I know. All right. Bye, Also, don't forget to donate if possible.